Well, 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 what do we have here? MG the future, you know what I'm about. Now let's say, share some links or some shit like that. I didn't let a nerd more than let a boogie man, you hear me? I Take no moms to be out. How does that work? <laughs> She wanna fuck with the nerd. This is six she wanna fuck with the nerd. Gotta play me in a purse. Says she really is. But you cannot call her cause up on her do not disturb. She wants right. killing his cash. She wanna see how we purge. Hey, yikes. They say the music's a me. Don't okay. hate on me, hate your audience. Hate your I audience. think they sleep on the kids. You sleep put that band on the sound. Don't go by them goofies you round. Look in the say with your cat and the devil. You put my dog on the ground. Black say the mind and I'm stuck in. Yeah, I'm a geek, but I'm thugging. Got us a tell it a fucking nutty. Then blew a stack on some plugins. Disconnected, I lock on my oven. I'm with G hand and heat to my cousins. If we pull up, it ain't no discussion. I've been doing pull ups, you get bludgeoned. Chop it up with the green. Reaper, and my my brother's keeper. That's right, sometimes in life you got to be your mother's teacher. I know she not gon' like it, cause she raised you to be better. When I was born, you never should've told me y'all was special. But that's what I'm telling these hoes. Just like $400 to scam I was lacking the back on my toes. I got happy, I didn't used to have it. So the baby gon' hop on my live. Toot it up and run up for subscribers. 2020, that's just how we vibing. You can't run up a check on your island. I'm smiling, going super saying checking stats. I ain't on the pill, but I'm geeking. Real business man gotta take a nap. Brain tired from the meat. How about you hop off my dick? How about you let me be great? Don't talk to me, speak to the stick. See how many moves you make. Word. She wanna fuck with the nerd. She wanna see my tutorial. Got a plan B in a purse. Said you a stalker, but you cannot call her cause up on her do not disturb. She wanna kill in this cash. She wanna see how we purge. Why does this thing have the wrong title? She wanna see how Yo, we purge. Bro, I need you to stop giving Facebook the wrong title. Bro. When they can't. Oh my god, he said niggas make jokes when they can't make money. What's going on, man? It's MG the future. You know what I'm about, man. We got a couple of heads in the room. Pause. That's what she said. Um, appreciate you guys joining me today on this lovely Friday. Um, part of me feels like you probably don't have much of a choice, um, but we'll deal with that eventually in due time. Let me check out my chat room real quick. We got Mad Peoples, my people, Sirius Dwix in the building, A Deshaun J, Society, Xavier Flow, AB Smooth, 607, one in black one. How's everything been that way? It's been pretty good. My hands are kind of clammy right now. It's kind of hot. I got my window on. I got my fan on too. So if you hear my fan and if it's too loud, let me know. And I will turn the fan off, but for now I can't. I'm, I'm really hot, boy. Bah. Society says I'm working, but I'm gonna be here. And Antetra says, man, so I'm at work. Don Lucy says, time to catch up. Hey, Bino, just really good. Tyrone Sanders, Spice King, the BBG, Marty Muerte, Terry B, Versakill, Lemwell, and Antitrust. I see you, bro. Cash Brown, Robert Brown, Seven C's. What is the odds that two Browns comment at the same time? Universe is funny. It's trolling me. Marty Morte says, Quarantine, Dream, Spice Gang, Stream. What's good? Eclipse, Jason White, Lemuel, Jayon, Noisy P, William Oates, Luis Faria. What's good with you guys, man? Let me minimize some of these windows. Let me move some of this ish out the way. I haven't streamed in a minute or made a beat on a stream in a minute, so I, I think I forgot how to make beats, to be honest with you guys. Um, hopefully, I can make something good. Good enough to battle Timberland with and Hip Boy and Boy Wonder. Um, it just depends on how you want to give it up. You, you feel me? The Indie Game Dev is in the building. Sour Dutch. RTO. So, MG, are you going to talk about full cell classes? The bots think you need some. BBG31. I don't know why you're trying to play me right now, man. Eclipse says, where you been at? I've been home. I've been here. Trying to get my affairs in order. If you make a beat on this live, you're not a boss. If you make a beat on this live, you're not a boss. Mike Will? <laughs> Is that what Mike Will said? I don't even know the context of that saying, so I'm not even going to say nothing sarcastic. He said, it's Tyrone. It's Tyrone Sellers. I'm trying to make a beat. I'm learning from you. What's good, try Tyrone Sellers? Jeremy Harding says, yo, what's good, man? How is it in Jamaica, man? If you forgot, if you forgot, watch Jake One, William Oates. I am not watching those videos. I'm, I'm not about to watch a video of my own videos. <laughs> hey, Okolando, what's good? Mika Moon, what's good? Yeah, yo, I heard NCB has been bad with the virus. Eclipse 66. It hasn't. Um, Apex just had the kids outside doing a parade, um, telling their teachers that they missed them. 
Oh, as soon as you said that, I got an emergency code. No cap. Peep this. As soon as you said that shit. That's fucking weird. What does it say? Emergency alert. Stay home. You have a critical role to play in stopping the spread of the thing. Effective at 5 p.m. today. It's 5.30. They're already 30 minutes late. How the fuck are we supposed to know that? What if I was outside right now? This is Wake County closed all non-essential businesses through Friday, April 17th. So that is, uh, God damn. I gotta bring a calendar out on this bitch. It says, we are depending on you. Be a good neighbor. Stay home. Oh, wow. As soon as bro said that, I told you the universe has been trolling me all day today. As soon as I was about to say something to bro, it was like, nah, we're going to send you that message right now. That nigga mad. That nigga mad live. But I was already staying home. A lot of people don't know that. I, I normally stay home. So I've been self-quarantining like all my 20s and now into my 30s. So that's not a thing, right? That's really not a thing for me. And they're keeping essential businesses open, meaning you can still go outside and go shopping and buy Starbucks or something. Um, what do I want to look at? I want to look at the calendar. My bad. How long is that? Why the 17th? That's such an arb arbitrary date. So one to two. So three whole weeks. They're, they're going for 21 days with this. 21 days of people. 21 more days like this, nigga. People ain't going to make it 21 more days like this. I promise you. I assure you. It sure has got me green apples. They're not going to be able to do that for 21 days. It, it's just, I just, man, I know white people way too well. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't going to be, we're going to be on this shit for three more days. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Hold a fart, then blow hard. Yo. What's up, Carlin? Hey, Money Mikes. Low spot Frank. Trey 8. 607 said, yeah, he said that young chop. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, I heard NCB, blah, 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 blah. Money Mike says, yeah, Jake One was wild and making that MG tutorial was still without an out-of-tune bass line. How he got all the MG of Future Hacks and still didn't put the bass line in key? Something ain't right. He didn't, he didn't see the tutorial where I show you how to pitch drift your bass to match your out-of-pitch samples from Serato and Arc X7. He don't really watch MG to Future in the shows. One of his buddies sent one of my videos, but in the show, the other 10. ACCB says cooking up with the squad, not social distancing, but I guess it's the last day to do so. Bro, if there was a thing or a situation, you suddenly social dis distancing didn't fix anything. Stay woke out here. But I want all y'all to be safe and be careful. Don't forget the fucking vitamin C. If I got to tell one of y'all knuckleheads again about this vitamin C jug, I'm going to be so pissed off with you. BBG says MG has an Android. That boy's smart. Nah, I got an Android because it was a gift. John Black health drops. There are MG type tutorials out, Carlin A. Yes, sir. Cold fire. What's good with you? It's a little over two to three weeks. 21 days to be exact, AB. DJ MVP. I could have been anywhere in the world, but I'm here with MG. I appreciate you, DJ MVP. I'll try my best not to disappoint. Blah, blah. Fucking fuck. Disappoint. I can't talk right, bro. I got mad allergies. Our trees be fucking all week, bro. We had two days of rain and it washed it away. So I was lit yesterday. I should have went live yesterday. But then when I woke up, the shit's green again. Oh, like my whole sidewalk is green. And my dumbass got the window on open to let the shit in. Stupid. Fly die. What's good with you? Low low spot Frank, Cash Brown, 21 Savage Days. We only got a week left or so, they say. AB Smooth. Okay. The asteroid hits in less than 30 days. Jayon baby. Not on this flat earth. There are no asteroids. Um, there's no such thing as an asteroid. There's nothing ever gonna impact Earth. Um, only because whoever the gods were that created this place put a force field above us. So there's no fucking asteroids going to hit us. That fucking Tesla satellite is up there. The, what does they call it? The Black Knight. That bitch is up there too. It probably got mad lasers on deck. We got ground to space cannons and shit, bro. Our asteroid will never touch Earth. The same way a mothership will never touch Earth. Remember, all of your ancient occultic religions... All the quote-unquote big spaceships that have come to Earth have been crashed, my nigga. That means there's something here not like the other places they've been to. Um, the one that's buried out there in Egypt, there's supposedly one out here in America, and there's another one at the bottom of the ocean. That's in their lore. That's in the woo-woo world. But if that's true, they're telling you over and over and over again, all these things crash and burn. What's doing it? Obviously not the stupid humans. So this, this place has some pretty good security. So I, I, I am not threatened or concerned about a, a NASA's photoshopped asteroids. 
Like, if they really want to get, get the shits and giggles and threaten us with asteroids, show us a video of it. Like, think about it. Every year there's an asteroid passing Earth, and you haven't seen one video of an asteroid passing Earth. That'd be the coolest thing to catch on video, but they never do it. Whether it be from the space station, whether it be from the fucking moon. Come on, guys. It's been fucking, what, 70 years now? Nothing, chief. Not a fucking ting. So, during the midst of all this fucking mids we're going through right now, I am not adding asteroid to the list. Not on God's flat earth. Mm -mm. Not me, baby. Anyway. Morning, Marte. Regards, Todor. Ninov. Money Mike says, our prime minister got the Rona, allegedly. Nah, that came out. But you're right about the allegedly part. I just caught on to that. I am Malachi said the white folks are already out. I already know, bro. I see them walking dogs. Like I saw like my neighborhood walk 50 dogs. I didn't know we had 50 dogs. People out right now, fuck three days. These are facts. It's bad in Toronto. Bobby Rutz, what's the, what's the lie from Toronto report? Jokes aside, I'm glad you're doing well. BBG, I am doing well. I'm, I'm going to take, take a minute to, to address that. Because I wasn't doing well, to be honest with you. Um, I wasn't doing too well when the allergies first hit me. Because I couldn't breathe at all. I had really heavy breathing, shortness of breath. And um, anytime I get sick, because I rarely get sick. Not even sick, because it's not like a sickness. It's like... <sighs> Is whatever the fuck that is. But anytime that happens to me, I get pissed off and disappointed because I do so much mental work and so much mental exercise and so much meditation. So what happens is if I'm less than optimal, I feel like I did something wrong spiritually or I made a mistake or even more profound, I'm under some type of uh, attack per se. You know what I mean? I take it to an extreme because of the amount of work that I do. Um, and the first day or two, I wasn't getting better. Um, I woke up with the same shit. Usually the shit goes away in a day. It didn't go away. It got worse. Then nighttime, it got better. Then the next day, boom, it came back. That day, that second or third day, which would have been Wednesday or Thursday, um, I tried a new meditation. I tried the beach meditation. Um, I, I, that probably means nothing to you, but it's a meditation in which you picture yourself on the beach, right? And you picture yourself anchored with a chain on the beach, an anchor around your body, and you're trying to walk to the ocean and you can't move because the anchor is there. And basically, you go through this whole exercise of chopping off the chain, dissolving the anchor, and then meeting yourself at the other end of the beach, the self that's okay, and then merging with it. It's real deep. It's a really powerful meditation a visualization exercise and in doing that i learned something about myself is that because of everything in the news and the people my family and the hysteria um you end up holding a lot of weight trying to solve problems you end up um holding a lot of weight worrying about and stressing about things you have no control over so i discovered the heaviness in my chest was in congestion it was actually spiritual, like a uh, grief. It was, uh, I was, it was like something was holding me down, literally. And the moment I forgave myself and gave myself permission to not hold on to the shit, it instantly went away. Went to sleep, woke up, felt much better. I think that was yesterday. And I breathe normally through the nighttime. Today I'm breathing normally, but I'm congested. So it's, it's at its final stages. It's on the, it's on the way out of my system. Um, and that's why I was acting up on Twitter because I felt, I felt way better. I felt a hundred percent better. If you haven't noticed all week, I only tweeted like once a, once a day. And last night when I finally got pissed off at myself, cause I know I'm better than this. That's when I start going ham. And what that does is it helps me, um, get back to normal, <laughs> getting back to spicy helps me get back to normal. So it was fun. I meant all that shit. Um, but I learned so, I learned so much from a spiritual or a meditative po point of view. Like, the, the weight literally left me as soon as I finished that exercise. It was the strangest shit. It's actually not the strangest shit. I've experienced that before. Um, yeah, man. So if you find yourself in a bad way or if you're not feeling optimal, man, there's a perfect time to fucking meditate and find different guided meditations if you need them or try different visualization exercises to let go of shit that has nothing to do with you, to forgive yourself, to uh, go through a lot of things, um, I don't know how deep you guys are into the chakras and stuff, but at every chakra, there's a different demon. 
And that demon will fuck with you, bro. Also, you know, the chest area is the heart chakra. And I think that was like one of the last things I said on one of my streams earlier this week. I said something about the heart chakra and what happens? It gets under attack. That's what I'm saying, bro. You got to be able to unleash those demons. <laughs> um, but what I think that really griefed me, what really griefed me, what really set me over the edge wasn't even the coronavirus bullshit. It was the QAnon bullshit. And I, I'm not going to talk too much about it on this stream. I'm not an expert. I don't want to nudge anyone in that direction. But I came across some new information about certain things, certain terrible things. And it griefed me. Subconsciously, though, it wasn't in front of my mind. In front of my mind, I already know what's. I already know what it's about. I got the books. I got the hunches. I assume, but sometimes when you're confronted with certain information, you you look at it different, and then it hits you different. And that shit hit me different, bro. I was pissed. I was super pissed. I was disgusted. I was repulsed. I was let down. I was all those emotions on top of fucking allergies, on top of my girl, on top of everything. This shit just took me out. It won't even a strong attack. I did, like, the attack, I atta attacked myself. I did it to myself, so. I'm learning, trying to become a better human. Um, preparing my mind to be stronger, of course, so that I can help others and walk others through the shit. Because there's bigger problems in the world. There's bigger things to be griefed about. But, yo, that shit, that shit's wild, bro. I'll talk more about it if it comes to pass. It'll, it'll come to pass, actually. It's not an if. Words connect. When it comes to pass, when it's appropriate to talk about it, I'll talk about it. Probably after they cut our internet off. And when the internet comes back, I'm sure we'll all have a lot to talk about. Anyway. What's good, George Desire? Do you know the Ashera Star Goddess channel? Stefan, I do not, friend. The Wakanda Force Field. What are we talking about today? Mario, what's good, man? What's good, Kyle? Winters? Detective Mike Lowry. Where them girls at, though? <laughs> Artisan, I see you, bro. DJ Tyson, I feel you, bro. Trigger 12. Sakim, the visualization exercise sounds like something that you make a Tony Robbins seminar. Sort of. Mine's a little bit better, though. What up? Everyone saying clear to Rona? Sean Jordan? Mario said, MG broke Twitter. Yeah, bro, I was wilding out. I meant that shit, though. Don Lucci, I had a similar meditation experience. I first learned it from Stephen R. Covey book, if you know him. I don't. Trigger 12 says, MG tweeted another one. <laughs> Just be the sky and look down on everything. Eclipse, that's a good one, bro. There are absolute facts. Had a similar experience the other night. Fly die, yes. Sicario, peace, brother. Isabella, good evening from Sweden. How's Sweden doing, Isabella? Y'all wild in Sweden, but how's it going? Joey Billiams, what's good? You're going to be more pissed watching the Hip Boy and Boy Wonder Beat Battle tonight. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to watch. I'm going to support the brothers. Um, as long as they're not battling their beats they made with Big Fish Audio Packs, I think I'm going to be all right. What's good, Money Madden? Haru on the track. B-Dub. What's good? Trey A Studios. Oh, hell no. Not the internet. Oh, hell yes. What up, good people? Here on my lunch. Brito Works. What's good, bro? MG, you're the dude. Artisan, I appreciate you, man. I'm just a regular dude trying to figure this shit out. Because you grounded yourself and allowed yourself to look through their eyes. Eclipse. Yeah. I think so. Jason Barnes. What's good with you, man? A Tory Lanez times Griselda times Griselda tutorial? What are you talking about, Carlin? Give me give me, give me some suggestions so I can see and hear what you're talking about. Um, Tory Lanez and Griselda don't overlap in my mind, so you got to help me out a little bit. Conundrum says, just got paid Friday night sitting on lockdown, feeling all right. Yo, I love the music video to that song. I always, I always look for that song and I never remember dude's name. Rita Works says, unfortunately, I'm considered an essential employee, so I'm in a disaster zone in NYC. Hmm. Society says, damn, killing Santa. No, I'm not. Compton Cali in the chat, rise above God's enemies. Reggie Griffin. Hey. Facts. Which God, though? Stay woke. Be juggernauts. What's good? Mario says, my money is on Hit Boy. I don't know. It depends on how they do their set. When Boy Wonder run off a uh, pound cake, um... It might be tight. It might be it might be tough, man. If he dropped pound cake in the right mix, like if they DJ it, if he drops pound cake at the right time between the right beats, uh, Hip Boy might have to scramble, man. <laughs> he ain't going to be able to get off with those tight dollar sign joints. He ain't. 
I promise you that. Checking in, me and my family is safe. B Park, I'm glad to hear that you and your family are safe. Ron Bevelich. Be Bella Belovich. Ron, damn it. Ron Belovich. There we go. Greetings from Israel. Hey, Israel's in the building. Gang, 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 gang. We're slowly preparing for the worst, Isabella. Well, I hope everything is well with you and yours so that nothing happens to you or your family or the people that you care about and that you guys keep peace of mind and protection. But don't fuck around and forget to take vitamin C. Get your vitamin C now. Get your elderberry now. Chaga root. I'm pretty sure you guys got the trees that grow chaga root. So you should have chaga root on the mountains of Sweden. See if you can find some chaga tea or chaga uh, capsules. Um, it's mainly vitamin C and vitamin D, though. And for respiratory stuff, uh, peppermint oil. Um, if you have essential oil, candles or burners, eucalyptus is really good because it's like that shit in Vicks Vapor Rub. Um, a humidifier, if you have one, I need to get a humidifier. Um, but basically, is it's your mind though. Like the the gate to your temple, the gate the gate for anything to get into you is your mind. So like even vitamin C and vitamin D is just a way of programming your subconscious mind that you're going into defense mode. Um, I'm almost certain that 99% of our life is a placebo effect. And this might not be a strong point that I need to make right now. But with that being said, guard your mind, guard the temple, and you should be all right. And I confirm and I affirm that for you and your family. And anyone who hears my voice. Society says now I had to dig through and find out what packs. Yo, hope everyone is well. Jesus Shuttlesworth. Hey, that's uh, your boy Ray Allen, right? He got game. Dap Dunlap. Johnny Kemp. Hey, yeah, it's Johnny Kemp. Nixon Joshua. Yeah, I was going through a tough one to see what you do. Like commercial Griselda Street Anthem with Tori on the hook. Well, if you can get Tori on the hook, I'll make the beat. Telemothy, what's good? <laughs> Eduardo says, just blows trees. <laughs> and I got a habit of X meaning collab or partner. Carlin A. Yeah, I'm one of the Tory Lane type artists for that to run off. BK Bangus says, tribe safe across the globe during current anarchy. Hey, you think they try to push us into the communism bubble? I think so, too. I think at the end of this, we're going to have a democratic socialist type push or nudge, depending on what people do in the streets. As long as people stay in the house and don't go outside and do nothing stupid, we... We'll be fine, but if people go outside and do something stupid, they're gonna um. No, they're not. They can't do it, bro. We got, we got, nah, nigga, we got, we got the shits and googles. And Trump got Space Force. Space Force got the illest quantum computer, and it got all the John Trump's research, all the quantum shit, all the Tesla shit. Now nah, them niggas wish they would. What's going on, Shane? Glad to see you. Don Lucia says the barge fam just got paid. I think. Now, that was Johnny Kemp, bro. Relax. A.B. Smooth, Mario. Have you ever seen the new Jake One Remix tutorial? You're the, you're the third person to mention it in this, in this uh, chat. Eduardo says, smoke some trees, y'all some lames. Whoa. Daryl, what made you choose FL Studio? Safe, safe. Uh, FL Studio is just fast for me. Um, and when you're getting off on your one-shot spas, it's just the easiest thing to do. Dale Dub, Burners. I use Reason 11. That's good. You should use it as a VST and a better doll, though. Isabella says, I have been more or less isolation since November. Had a hunch that something horrible was approaching. I think we all did. Uh, I mean, if you look at some of my old videos, I was saying the vibes weren't right for a while. Um, I didn't anticipate this was going to be the manifestation of it. The mind is stronger than most people think. Yes, mind is all. Haru! Mind is all and all is mine. There it is. Where's connect? Carlin A, Mr. Black Mac, what? Mean Gene. Now we're in an oligarchy. Nah, I was talking about the push from the communists. But they're, but they're arresting all the communist drug cartels right now, as me and you speak. So, no. It's not, it's not going to go that way. Your boy got cabal. <laughs> what is this, Mortal Kombat? Ish just got a Tory Lanez party single. Well, at least America number one again. Black Aliens won. What's good? Good to see you, man. That party next door is not a P2 level, but it's pretty good. Even though there's some sus songs. Yeah, I didn't. I'm not gonna make any real, real comments about Party Next Door probably till Spicy Sundays, but I ran to the uh, Rihanna track because that's all everyone was talking about. And uh, 
bro, bro, bro approached it as a young thug. He channeled young thug, and I didn't get it. Like, um, I don't listen to Party Next Door tracks for a young thug vibe. He did his, uh, you know what I'm saying? His inflections, his delivery was really similar. He wasn't as pitchy, but you could tell like he was controlling his voice to come across like an Atlanta rapper. And I was like, my nigga, you from Toronto. No one want to hear that dumb shit. But more importantly, it wasn't, maybe it's not even the type singer part he did. It's the fact that he chose to do that with Rihanna, right? Like, you get a chance to have Rihanna and you don't do the most party next door Rihanna thing ever. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, Drake should have been there. Drake, Drake should have executive produced that one. Four times. What's good, man? Them black Jesuit priests woketh. Black Jesuits are literally black Jesuits. Better be careful out here. Dale W. says, I'm from Toronto. Party been biting Young Thug for years. Mika Moon, hey, Chief Smith, I don't listen to him that much, but I don't doubt it. It was just profound and um, unnecessary in my humble list of opinions. The Rihanna track is the only one that I've heard, and I was kind of surprised at the style choice, too. Yeah. Well, I feel like Party been accused of channeling Young Thug before. Major deja vu. It's possible. Oliver Massey, peace, what's up, MG? Consulo, what's good with you? It was a Summer Walker London on a track type song for no good reason. <laughs> These are facts. Oh, we got a lot of souls in the building. I appreciate you guys for dropping a like and stopping by. The brothers are like asking me to do Party Next Door times with Griselda. And I'm like, not Party Next Door. Fuck out of here. Uh, Tory Lanez times Griselda. I don't even know what that means. Y'all make me trace somebody's beat just for no good reason. I'll make me trace that new party next door shit and take Rihanna off of it. I could do that. Crisp and clean. Yatao. K Bangas. What's good with you, man? Joey Billiam says they should did another dance hall track. Yeah, you know, or something, right? Afrobeat, dance hall, um, even drill, some drill R and B. Anything that was Toronto or Jamaican influence or island influence. Is it's you know what they tried to do? What it reminded me of? It sounded like they were trying to do the Eminem and Rihanna thing. You know, sit here and watch you burn. The way I love the way you lie. Like, when I first put it on, I was like, is this I love the way you lie part two? Then I heard the Young Thug thing. I was like, the fuck is going on, bro? Like, who, who's, the, who's executive producing these artists? It's like, it's like the record labels just let them go. And, I, and that's what it's been for the past few years. Everyone who gets a deal is almost like a social media contract. It's like, do your part on social media and tour, maybe, Summer Walker, and then we'll just throw the, we'll just throw the music on Spotify and Spotify and Apple for you, and we'll pay for the little sponsor boost or whatever. But they're not actually uh, producing, right? And you're only going to hear that narrative from producers. Like I've produced people before. You feel me? Like I'm not talking about emailing beats. I mean like sitting with an artist from scratch and coming up with a sound from beginning to end. And taking their ideas and uh, dampening them or attenuating them to fit the actual technical thing that you would do like that. You know, if someone has a wild ass idea, you normalize it. Like, I've done that. I've done that with countless people. And those, those have been my best recordings where I'm allowed to do that. It doesn't seem like these artists have that. Um, and you can tell, like, with the whole thing about Drake and Noah, you can see how Drake is, is going without Noah. Like, he's making forgettable music, bro. But we've talked about this already. But I'm just saying, I, I think it's more widespread than I initially thought. Naldo, what's good? Those are not even things, DJ Tyson. Yo! Drop the likes, people. Channel the R&B God, Nixon Joshua. They doubling down on mids, my friend. I'm very, very underwhelmed with the Weekend album. DJ Tyson, me too. It wasn't the direction that we needed to go right now. They, Ben said they ain't no a rs no more. Carl and A. I follow a rs on Twitter. That's not true. I just don't think they assigned them to the social media acts. Why hasn't the whole album on the Savage Anthem level quality? Sav Savage Anthem. Yeah, good. I don't think they have the people or personnel, Naldo. They're not even grooming artists for long careers. These are, these are facts. Probably too much focus on trying to be authentic. Carlin A. I don't even think there's focus. I guess he's going to go to Jay Lekway and say, see, this is why I wasn't making music, blah, 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 blah. 
Um, that is tough. I mean, to be fair to artists, this is the toughest time to release music. It's the gauntlet. It's the crucible. If you ever play Destiny, you know, everyone's a fucking critic, my, myself included. I'm a little bit more cynical than most, but the fact that people aren't playing it, ain't spinning it, ain't retweeting it, ain't really talking about it beyond the drop date, 72 hours later, like, you didn't hear no fucking weekend repost today. There ain't no fucking weekend challenges on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the climate is a little bit way more aggressive in terms of sustainability. And it's certainly not because people don't have the attention span because three-hour podcasts are ringing the fuck off. Um, it's just that the music isn't captivating. The music isn't... Um, someone said yesterday when I was trying to criticize the producers, when I was trying to figure out was it, you know, the samples or the chords type shit, it was like, maybe they just didn't sign any good artists and we're just now, you know, we're just now realizing the artists weren't good. So, like, before you had some some mid-artists and really good production for the time. Now that the production kind of, you know, plateaued and everyone is going after the same sound, you start to notice that none of the artists stand out from each other because they're not special in that way. So, if you're an artist and you're like, hey, I'm finally going to drop something, will the people fuck with it? Your fans always will, but the majority know. That's what Jay Elect just uh, experienced. Um, that uh, the quote unquote hip hop demographic is non existent. You know, the people who are really participating in urban music is between white people and now the Hispanic racial ambiguous community. You know, the people that get to say the N word on Twitter, but they're not dark enough. It's like, it's that crowd. Like, that is. The, the quote-unquote mainstream is them now. And they've been catering to them for a while. And no one noticed, like, by their head or their hairstyles that you shouldn't even base your industry on people like that. I would have never done that. I'd be like, well, fuck them. They're just going to follow what anything I do. So I might as well try to listen to people who have some common damn sense. <laughs> like, all these Jadens and Aidens and Cadens and Raidens, Shang Tsungs and shit. Like, why are you catering to these guys? The fuck's going on? So... Um, they should fix that. We knew they weren't good. Versakill. We did. We just don't want to say it out loud because some of them are pretty. Speaking of TikTok, Beanie is the new Billy Ellish. Maybe. Brito Works says artists don't seem to make music from the soul. They just make purely likes. Yeah, social media artists. I am also using Logic X Pro, Isabella. That was, that was very random. Oh, y'all are asking about the best doll. Dale W, what's the best doll? Oh, wow. I, I, in my humblest opinions, there isn't a best doll right now. Don Lucia says, peso, peso. Mika Moon says, laughing my ass off. Facts. Facts. Oh, there's a little delay on my, there's a little delay on my pimping. See, I'm more open-minded, and I try to give everyone music a chance. And if it don't hit, then it don't stick. If y'all need my background credentials... I gave that Solange album seven tries. Yo. I'm not playing with y'all today. Reason Gang, Telemethy. MV. Daniel Nellis with a strong question mark. Should I buy some royalty-free loops and sample, or should I pay for a subscription to East West Sounds? Daniel Nellis. That's not a good question. Because if you can make your own sample, you wouldn't be asking me should you use samples. Stay woke. Save your money. Download royalty free samples. I'm most productive in FL. Kaizen, what's good, man? Marty Morte. Preference is the best doll. Find your ish. That's facts. Beanie Man, big on TikTok. Jokes. Not Beanie Man, a female named Beanie. The best doll is the one that you work with best and most efficiently. In my case, it's three or four of them. Kyle Winters says, Yo, I'm doing the finger drubbing lessons in Melodics. It's a dummy mission because I use Studio One. Kyle Winters, you know that. So do the piano ones instead and stop playing with me. Money Mike says, artists manage to make something that sounds as good as a version of something else, and they think the job is done. Now you got to figure out how to make the hit heart, the heartstrings now. Um, maybe we just need new artists. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these artists are from 10 years ago. Maybe we need new superstars. You know what I'm saying? Like, new, like a new Rihanna, a, a new party next door, a new Drake. Maybe we just need fresh talent. You know, it's hip. You need, you need the new folks to come in. Little safe. What's good, bro? I use so many workarounds when I work with Logic X for workflow and mixing. I'm sorry to hear that. It's amazing and sad to see, ah, it's amazing and sad to see people still don't know what MG is really about. Ayo Kalando. Hey. 
do we need TikTok? I don't. New artists do it for the fam. There's a lot of new artists if y'all get to put on. All right. I said superstars. There's a lot of artists. Like, bro down the street, an artist. My friend on Facebook, an artist. Dale says originality. There's no such thing as originality, first of all. Let's not, re let's not repeat that mistake and go down that road. You're not going to like originality. That's not, that's not what's happening. Why you call me a little safe? Why can't I call you a little safe? Maybe it's my American accent. accent. Niles was right. Hip-hop is dead. Yeah. Bobby Hemet was right. The shit was mid since the 80s. What's the best way to hit an artist up if you really want to work with them and not really for the money? Je Jeb Josh wants to know the best way to link up with the artist. Try to get their attention. You got to get the conversation going first, of course, right? So are you on a platform that they follow back on so you can message them? Do they leave their contact information or booking information in their bios, like for their managers or something? Um, you can email those people and say exactly what you just said. It's like, hey, I love what you do. I love what I do. I would love to do it with you. Pause. It's like talking to a girl, man. And if they respond, build from there. If they don't, fuck them. Find, find an artist that wants to work. It's probably the easiest way to do. I don't think you'll be able to approach Drake like that. You know what I'm saying? But you could probably um, approach Tom, who has like 5,000 followers on Twitter. Y'all working for China if you got TikTok. These are facts. MG, is there a new music subject you haven't covered? Seems like you did everything two years ago. Um, most of everything that is common today on YouTube is indeed stuff I covered two years ago. Um, there isn't really a new music subject for me because the music hit a brick wall. So all the new stuff is just old stuff regurgitated. Everything is eating itself. And that's not permanent. It never is. We've seen it before. As bro said earlier in the chat, hip hop is dead. Nas did that like, what year was that? 2007 or earlier, right? Maybe earlier. And people felt that. And then Atlanta started its run. You feel me? So it's, it's not over until the fat lady sings. Um, just right now, it's tough. Right now, it's tough. It was already tough. We've been telling you about the cat apocalypse for the past year. But now it's starting to manifest and, and come to fruition. And then the particular social, political, global event is going to offset it even more because uh, companies and labels like Universal Music Group are cutting off budgets to their artists. So those people aren't going to be able to tour, they're not going to be able to make any money, and they're going to have to question whether or not they feel like putting, giving their all to a label or a business situation that pretty much let them drown. Um, or on the flip side, on a positive side, for the people who save their money, if they can't tour, what are the chances that they're going to get the same opportunity to be put in that position again when everyone's at home s scoping out and checking out new artists and new plans and new potentials? So... It's in a shaky spot from a purely music industry perspective. Um, as you're seeing with these beat battles and stuff, and even with the DJ stuff, even the DJs on live, you'll notice that the people who have the most people in their room aren't playing new music in their sets. And that should be eye-opening to everyone, people who join from the industry and the fans who join. And you remember those vibes and those good vibes you have. I'm sure it's a call to action or call to memory to a lot of people. Like, yeah, this is the music that was, you know, fucking shit up. What the, what the fuck are we listening to today? And I think younger people have an advantage because they don't have no bias. You know, of course, they grew up with the Team Rocket era of hairdos and shit, but they really didn't make a commitment yet because they haven't lived or created long enough to be locked in. So maybe they'll get inspired by this awareness and they'll bring the new shit together and they'll add their touch to it. And then, of course, that'll set off a chain reaction of new shit. And I'll make more tutorials as I follow them on their journeys. Um, but I'm not worried about it. I just know we're in a fucked up time. Period. Now, now it's, you know, it's an exclamation point. Like, fuck. Did y'all check the Jack ones? But John Smith, if you don't say that one more time. Keanu Lee just wants to decide R&B instead of pop. The current gatekeepers killed hip-hop. Reggie Griffin. Yes, sir. It was a plan from day one, though. MG, is there a music subject? Blah, 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 blah. There we were. Marcus Davis. Give them weed and females. That's all. What's up, Potna? JT Double. Keanu Lee. Isabella says, I love it. 
but so I can speed up everything. Made 580 beats idea since November that I'm turning into tracks during the close future. Damn. God damn. DJ Tyson said hip hop was dead for Nas because he didn't own the masters for his best album. God damn. Telemathy said he's enjoying watching Russ bring soul samples back. Telemathy wants to get blocked from my chat room. What's good, Schmidtick? John Black says, internet money runs hip-hop now. John Black, internet money doesn't even run YouTube. Cut the shit. John Smith said, did y'all check out Jake One's new video? But the Team Rocket area. Dale W., I like this channel. All right, don't be weird, Dale. Enjoy, enjoy the ride. Versakill says, that show was classic. Kyle Winter says, this man said Team Rocket Air Dudes. Or Rocket Power. Team Rocket, Rocket Power. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Where everybody got like the fucking hamburger meat on top of their head. But they got the fade on the side. And everybody came outside looking crazy, looking the same. No one was wearing hats or headbands. Everybody wanted to look like Ray Shermer. But we don't know why. That whole thing. That generation. No, not that generation. Their they're, they're little brothers and sisters have a chance. I told you, we lost a generation on music, bro. Like, if you if you grew up four years to high school listening to Lil Yachty, like, you're, you're fucked. So you're inspired to make a beat, MG? The BBG31. Am I inspired to make a beat? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Uh, Team Rocket is right, since niggas dyeing their hair all the crazy little colors. All right, so it's, t it's Team Rocket Power. Rocket Power Team. Dale W. Okay, I don't like it. Bye. Uh, bitch, bye. Fuck off my channel, you weirdo. Dale act like I need him or something. Anyway, John Black says, since they got sued after dropping out of Busy Work Speed School, John Black is just here to be messy. What's good, TB Anderson? OG? <laughs> Let's try to make something good. I can, I, can, I can minimize my Fruity Loops window and, and engage the chat at the same time. Do I have any samples? Do I have any loops? I got mad loops. What am I talking about? Uh, that was Dill Demodome. That was Dill the fuck about here. Uh, well, I don't hear nothing. Y'all set like some Tory Lanez type shit. What is a tempo for a Tory Lanez type beat? I don't even know. I don't fucking know. Open an audio editor. Yo, I'm tired of not hearing shit. What, what is what is this? There is no audio coming through. Ah, uh, yo. You're mids, Freddy Loops. You're being mids right now. I don't fucking like it. What channel did you open this on? Nigga. Why? W what the fuck? Why? Why would you do that? Out of here, fam. Give me Edison. Stop playing with me. Thank you. Whatever. Like out of here. Let's get that downbeat. Let's uh zero cross her. Let's go to the end. And let's zero cross you, my friend. There we go. I I we got it. Now we can time stretch it. Without changing the pitch though. We're going to do 148, bro. Yo, what is my mouse doing? It went up to 400 beats per minute. I couldn't do that if I wanted to. 148. And I can get a metronome popping. Make sure it's the right. Too slow. Fuck out of here. Do it like that. Sounds 
Something like that, right? We got to get that right. If it ain't tight, it ain't right. That's what she said. All right. Bring it right down. All right. We got to start. Uh, sample 120 to In case I give credit to somebody in the future in case we get this popping. Or we can get a timestamp right here in case Russ comes along and steals this. All right, we got that. Uh, what else? I should export it and get the key of it. I like the key of it, although no one sings in that key. So I'm going to export it anyway. Call this shit Get the Key. Make sure we're not splitting the mixer tracks yet. All right, so that's preliminary work. That's finding a sample, chopping a sample, time searching the sample, repitching the sample, and getting the KBS. All right, we got two chords. The fuck? Man says it's F sharp major. I hate making beats in major keys. Oh, damn it, it's gonna be white hop. That's cool though. I love white hop. I just I'm gonna need to use fucking uh decap drums or something. I don't fucking know. And this is an I'll keep this open. Whatever. F sharp. What the fuck? No one wants to make a beat like that, bro. No one. All right, cool. Whatever. Let's let's cut it out. Turn this in. All right, and we can get drums popping now. We lit. My drums, please. I need some more real estate so I can see the whole pattern block, though. Let's drop that in. Nah, bro. You need to fucking relax. All right. We got that. Um, Open up MIDI out. I'm not going to use this yet because I'm not adding. I might not add instruments to this. For R&B, you might have to, though. You might have to add a pad or some keys on top of the guitar or a flute. They say the flute is dead. I'm going to prove them wrong. So I'll, I'll probably add a flute to this. We're going to piano roll. We're going to import the MIDI export from Melodyne. Um, this is for the brother Jake one. So you never do your bass line out of key ever again. So we know exactly what these chords are. What the fuck did this thing export, bro? It didn't even try to export the shit. Yeah, like what the fuck is going on? Yo, technology is so dope, it's stupid. It's not even the right, uh, it's not on the downbeat. The fuck, bro? Thank you. Oh, you think you think I wanted to? Why why does Melodyne give you so much before the downbeat anyway? Like, what fucking audio editor gives you like negative fucking timeline? That doesn't does even make sense. It's like the easy things they could fix. Like, I'm sure there's a use for that in some parallel universe, but make that optional. Don't make that the default. Like, why would anyone want to start before zero? Someone help me out. Someone 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 talk to them. They need help. That's annoying. Anyway. Import MIDI. One more game. One more game. There we go. Now I need to time stretch it because they don't communicate the same language. At all. God damn. And they said that shit was F sharp major. F sharp major has a relative minor. I wish I knew that off default. Um, To get it. You go three semi steps back, right? One, two, three. That becomes C sharp minor. Oh, baby. We're in the key that everybody fucking uses. Oh, yeah. Now it's about to go down. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling better about this. F sharp minor? Yes. Fuck. No, it's not. What? How did I mess that up? Hold on. It'll be D sharp. Bruh. I get it this time. I got it this time. That boy, nice, bro. But the chord progression is two, one, two, what? A Wait, hold on. It's three, one, four, four. Ah, that's stupid. Whatever. Let, let's just let's just do it, guys. It, it doesn't matter at this point. You know whose drums I'm gonna use? We're not even gonna try. We're we're gonna 
I'm going to bring it back. Let's use an old kit. Old kit that worked really good for me back in the day. Double my head in my window. Whoa. I can't navigate through the side menu of Fruity Loops. Come on, dog. It don't want me to use that folder. Okay. Challenge fucking accepted, bro. All right, all right, all right, all right. We'll fucking use something else. I'm not going to stay up all day with this. And there we go. Here we go, loop de loop. Here we go, loop de la. Let's find out if that's. Yeah, buddy. Boom. Boom, boom. None of these kicks are good enough. I'll figure out the rest of the kicks once we get the uh, 808 in there. Uh huh. You know, you know the vibes. fucking snare pattern all the kids use it's this bullshit that we always do we're gonna keep doing that but we're not gonna use the whole thing we're gonna we're gonna figure it out we're gonna figure out a new way to do the same thing you know so we have some originality points but I'm gonna put it there in place so I can hear it and then I'll know what to remove or add to it you know, all these Beyonce guitar type beats, all the R&B beats have that pattern. Whether it's David Archuleta, Beyonce to the left, to the left, they all use that pattern. So don't change that. and stuff but this shit's riding once it's riding leave it alone and now we just need the bass to come through yeah yeah that's it man society what's good bro hi that's crispy what's going on david treasure fly that yes d sharp bro yeah for real we love seeing you work bro there. Flat eye. Hey. The free bongo drum PSC ain't bad. I need you to stop. What did Melodic Mouse say? So I'm taking the piss and I hear we are the world circle play. We can't sing the virus away in the future. <laughs> you should make a weird Shrizzy type beat. Yo, y'all messy. Let's make a Nick Cannon type beat. John Black, I want to ban you from the chat next. I'm 
gonna have to ban him, bro. He got on my nerves. <laughs> Alright, we got some tune data weights we can use. Do we want the short ones? type of beat and i'm going to tune it unlike the dude who did it for drake he didn't tune his 808 all right so we're going to copy and we we'll hit him with the pace see if it's actually tunable we're going to move these to appropriate locations because we're following the key of the chords you do that with pop tracks like the chord the chord heavy tracks um if you're doing a rap beat and there's not a lot of chord changes you could just do the root note the the sixth and the fifth fourth any key really bro i don't even know why we acting like it makes a difference when it's just a uh, when it's not a lot of chord changes and i gotta raise this All right, let's cut the bullshit. So we need this key right here to be octaved. All right, what the fuck am I doing? All right, octave it, and then we need to go to the fourth, to uh, two, three, four, which is here, I think. I think this is the stunt that I'm going for. I think that's what it sounds like. Let's go back to line, bro. That's the stunt, but you gotta have the 808 cut itself uh, so it doesn't uh, bleed. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, nigga. Those are the vibes. Now we gotta mess with the timing. We hit him with a do 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 do. There she goes. What's up, life is mine? You said it needs a kalimba? A octave. Now, you don't want to repeat that every bar. Like, that'll get annoying, so you'll probably want to copy that, the 808, and do one with the doom, 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 and one without the doom, 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 doom. I'm gonna do that in Pro Tools. Fuck what everyone's talking about. And my man said add a kalimba. All right, we'll save this then. God damn it, you. MG of Future Live needs kalimba. Um, if I could, if I could learn those chords real quick, we out of here because MG made another one. Um, Serum has kalimbas. What is this, D sharp? One, two, three. My nigga said a kalimba. He know I'm gonna do it. Mallets. Let's see if I can figure these chords out too. Um, what did I say the shit was? It was three something something? It was three to one? It's something like that. Ah, 
I gotta go. It's actually a, a core progression that I have used. like that, shunt. Oh, God. Every god dag on time. All right. Whatever. We'll figure it out. <laughs> that shit's not gonna beat at all. My fingers did not want to cooperate. That's what she said. MG is regrets bad guy. Damn. sound like that when I'm done. But I need it to sound like that for now. The guy did the rest of the songs. Because when you drop the uh, goddamn... At some point, you're going to drop the guitar, right? You know that rides when the beat drops or whatever? You'll play it twice. And you'll probably put a pad or some shit. And then you're right back into it. So you need something like that. Uh, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And because it's more hip-hoppy, you always do it rhythmic. And that's where that uh, Rugrats feeling is coming from, because of the staccato. Malone on this one. I already told y'all from the, from the start it was gonna be white hop. 
Um, anyway, that's what it gets for being major. Um, can I play some goddamn chords? Do you have my goddamn chords? Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. I don't need to draw it. I just need the goddamn chords. Do, 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 do. Baby, baby, baby. Give me some goddamn chords. Bum, bum, bum. I am not fluming this shit. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Not in my house. <laughs> fuck out of here. What the fuck I'm gonna do with that? That sounds like some posty shit. Yeah. For the sake of argument, I'll do it. I think that's all the sounds. It sounds like a beat by itself, right? It's, it's a little too nice of a beat to be honest with you. It's just mad PG and friendly and shit. Like you want to make make friends and shit. Like it's a fucking quarantine, social distancing, ho. All right, so uh, gotta rename all the goddamn tracks if we want to put them in Fruity Loops. Oh, this is my least favorite part of the day. Snap, kick, snare, clap in that order, in that order. Hi hat one. I had two in that order, in that order. I open hat after that young boy and all my cool next tail chirp sounds. Um, I wish you could auto rename tracks and for the loops. That'd be awesome. One day, one day we pray. Uh huh. Uh huh. It ain't going to happen. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You got me all shook up. Uh huh. Oh, hey. Ah, 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 Perk A, perk B. Meh. Meh. Uh, FX. I don't know if I'm going to drag and drop transitions in the Pro Tools or not. But, um. I gotta rename everything so I can import it and see it from a bird's eye view. Get them, baby. I like it like that. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, tell them about the Benjamins, baby. What? Which I wanna do? Uh huh. Let's go to the beginning. Bro. Charlie Redding, starting from this track, Charlie. Uh, when 
One thing I want to do to the sample though, before I put effects on it in Pro Tools, is a stereo spread. I ain't got time for that shit. I don't think uh, Pro Tools has this effect. That's gonna make everything fit better. Um, I could sidechain ahead of time, but um, the way I'll be mixing, I won't need to sidechain. Um, post type track stems. What is it? 148 D sharp minor. Uh, I don't know what the fuck to call this beat. Uh, Kalim. We'll call it cow, bro. You could do it with stereo delay and Pro Tools. Thank you, Fly Die. I don't know nothing about that. Nerd Vision said, yeet, 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 yeet. <laughs> Yo, I should download that and see if I can put it in the beat. Hold on, Nerd Vision got me fucked up. Bro, why you open up? Why you opening up shit, bro? Nerve vision said add the yeet yeet yeet. Let's see if I can fram. Let's see if there's such a thing. Do I still have my audio driver? Sometimes I don't get my audio driver when I make that move. Timberland yeet. Um, can I clean that up anymore? You really can't. I need the, uh, I need more, uh, I need more shit. Um, we'll try something though. Nigga. Give me, get rid of that reverb, my nigga. His damn hi hats. It's in the vocal range, bro. Mm hmm. Get rid of that hole. Son of a bitch. You need two different pitches. Man, what I would love to have the background track to remove that shit. Mm, S curve, S curve, nigga. Yeah, nigga, fucking S curl, this shit, bro. God damn it, you Jones. All right, there we go. All right, we're getting fucking close, goddamn. Um, yeets, nigga. All right, goddamn close, bro. Antonio McKinney, what's good, my friend, bro? Can we fucking minimize my shit, bro? All right, um, now I gotta put this in the beat, right? Now I gotta put the yeets, yeets in the track. Didn't expect to do this today. Always something. It's on beat though. Hey, what's happening? Oh God, turn that down. 
we got to find a better placement for that. That's to be slower. Like yeet, yeet, you feel me? Uh, El Zumo, El Zoomin. I changed the pitch of it too. Not my favorite thing to do. Not my favorite thing. Whoa, bro. Maybe I won't. The Timberlands one more credit. That is hilarious. What credit? I got this from a video game in India. Uh huh. I need an extra mixer track. God damn. That messes up the whole feng shui. Fly die. Fly die, you out of here, bro? My bad, man. You have a great day, bro. Hate to see you go, but I understand why you gotta leave. What's this called? K? I call it Cal, right? Why doesn't FL auto sign to the mixer? I don't know, fam. JT Double, no, I didn't catch that one, bro. I did not catch that stream. I should've, though. I should've. Okay, Jerry's GMO is a good tool to use for stereo spread. It sounds good, too. Thank you for that. Mmm, Delay the Bells was a recommendation. Big Plux in the building. Witch Claps on the downbeat. Every other bar, Robert Brown. Eating ice cream sandwiches at the park type beat. Let's darken it. That's what I want to do. I want to make that shit darker. What do we not need? We do not need vintage reverb. We do not need the master track. We don't need current. We don't need uh there's another track in here that we don't need. Plate. We don't need delay. It should only be like 16 tracks. 15. Fingers crossed. Now, do I remember how to use Fruity Loops? I'm sorry, Pro Tools is the real question. I figure out how to get my hardware inserts to work. That's half the battle. Ah, I forgot we got a fucking scan for 20 hours. FL does auto route to insert check manual. It does. They added that. Bruh. What the fuck? Live. Uh, cow type. 148. 148. Stereo mix, please. Thank you. We need a few things. We need we need a lot of shit. We need tracks. We need got the um, master track. Mm, call a master freighter. Yes, we have a master freighter. Say say, and then we got the um, need to change the tempo. Say, one forty eight. Meh. And say we need to bring these in. Say, well. I wish you could bring these in logical order. But if I got everything I wish for, there'd be no reason to work for it. All right. Um, we're missing yeets for some reason. Do I remember how to use shortcuts? I don't. This isn't going to be fun. There we go, baby. Um, I don't know if I can navigate Pro Tools right now. Hold on. Hold on, goddamn. 
Can we bring this on a downbeat? On a five on it? Goddamn. <sighs> Bro. If y'all don't goddamn give me. Oh, I hate. I hate changing my flow, baby. Just tell me you're snapping the goddamn grid. Uh, it don't feel like you're snapping, bro. Snap to the bars, bro. We ain't got time today. Oh, I'm gonna learn how to. I, I promise you guys, I'm gonna learn how to select all one day. Oh, it doesn't do it like the other programs. It only. Uh, the tool set is different. Whatever. All right, cool. We're good there. And we can uh, cut some of this off right here. Bum, bum, bum. Bring this back, yeet, yeet, yeet. All right, cool. We have the major the major players. Then I need to go to my mixer real quick. I need to take the key tracks and relocate them to the top of the mix. That's why I renamed them. So you don't have to look through this mode for 20 minutes trying to figure out what the hell is going on. And then uh, we got to change the colors of these. Uh, purple, I guess. Purple, purple. Meh. Uh, yeah. I definitely told the mixer to go away. Bunka, bunka. And then we got the 808 kick clap. Let's bring all that over to the, to the fruition. Let's bring kick clap snare. The same order I had it in the other program. Bum, bum, bum. We'll take those and color them so we know what they are. And we'll use the same shades. Uh, purple goes good with red and orange, right? Or yellow. Or green. Or blue. Uh, Pro Tools loadout for colors is trash. Anyway, and then we'll bring the effects to the effects side. With Yeet. We got percussions and hats. We'll, we'll color this in straight order. Bongo, bongo. Just so I can group them later. You feel me? And if I if I group them later, that is the real thing. Boom. And my 808 should be loud and proud. That's on the red dog. I hate these colors. It looks like a goddamn hot dog. You say command plus minus. T T S C G. I'm M M G. Uh, what do you say? M G. How many dogs do you use on average during production? Just one. Um, when I want to do something in particular, though, depending on the type of track I'm doing or what I'm trying to accomplish, I might have to go to other ones. Like for instance, I love Pro Tools Heat, and I love using my Zulu. So I could use. I could technically probably use Studio One for a lot of things, but then Studio One, I wouldn't have the. Uh, the, the running around the piano roll like I do in FL Studio or the uh, the biggest thing that Studio One's fucking up on is the uh, the input quantizer isn't working so it's, it's throwing me off if it didn't throw me off I could probably do most of what I want to do in Studio One but I still love the way that uh, I still contest that uh, Pro Tools sounds better not better like sonically but sounds better because it's familiar like it's it's characteristics is familiar to what we do all right, so we take these. This should actually be by itself. Uh-huh, that boy nice. All right. And I should bring the yeets in a little bit earlier. You feel me, got now. And I think the 808s I can bring in a little bit earlier got now. Now I gotta fix the impact of all that shit. What am I doing? I know what I'm doing. Rhetorical question. What he doing? He already know that shit rhetorical. 
Looking around, they call that boy the Oracle. Whoa, okay. So, some shit like this. Some shit like this. Some shit like this. All of this. Oh, I wish I knew the fucking... You know what I'm talking about? How to grab everything? Pause. Something like that. <laughs> we'll do something like this. Not like this. Like, not like this. I think we could get away with everything here, at least. And then I can build from there. Okay. Whoa. Does it really drop energy like that in Pro Tools? It does. Ah, that's gonna fuck with me. Um, bruh, bruh. Why is it so abrupt? I know how to fix it though. I switched my grid back to half notes. And delete this shit. <laughs> I, you, you gotta make do. You gotta make the shit work. You got to. Fuck, fuck with they, fuck with that shit something. Like. How much of this I want in on the second work? sudden like that what, what the fuck is the sudden shit is the way one of these i think it's the way the sample starts is sudden as fuck <laughs> whatever bro whatever shit so flame so and then i'm gonna do a part two on that hook i'm gonna do a goddamn part two on that hook bro come on dog and I'm gonna do a part two without the hats. It's gonna slow down a little bit, I think. And I think we'll bring the yeet in a little bit earlier. two yeet yeets um anyway so i mix or i pivot the mix off of the beginning and i think pro tools will let me loop this and because i color coded everything i can mix everything appropriately basically you zero out everything
One thing at a time, of course. <laughs> Insert level, multi-channel dynamics or EQ. We're gonna use uh, the air joint. Channel strip is called. It's the easiest plugin to use in Pro Tools, I think, in my opinion. We're gonna narrow band all this shit. I'm gonna try to keep this shit up below 25. I'm gonna create a sin track, which is a new track. And someone said reverb and delay, so we'll do a reverb first. We gotta color these like different, so you know that they're sin tracks. Sometimes you don't realize it with Pro Tools for whatever reason. We'll do like these ugly ass, God, bro, why would you have multiple tracks selected, bitch? All right, there we go. Um, my favorite reverb, of course, is D-verb. I bet you didn't know that. And we're gonna use a hall preset. A large dark hall. And we're gonna send it there. I'll move these towards my master track. It's just a bunch of rinse and repeat type shit, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm quiet. There's really nothing to talk about. You all gonna get dark reverb, fuck it. And man's also said add goddamn delay. Pro Tools got a lot of delays, son. Light blue track, sand and delay. Baby, baby.
That sounds good. What about my kalimba? Mighty fine. It's mighty fine. You have to click command solo on the reverb track so you can hear the reverb of any track you solo. <laughs> what? Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Rudy Rhythms. Pro Tools is so uh, perfect. It's kind of freaky, actually. Uh. I think the 808's loud enough. My ears starting to hurt, so let me speed through this bullshit. I need another reverb. I need a I need a reverb to go to my fucking reverb. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Y'all ever do that? <laughs> Y'all never sent a reverb to a reverb? Pro Tools let you do it. Not many dolls let you do that. Like, like you can take your reverb, put it on top of reverb, and send it to a reverb. Shit's crazy. It makes it sound heavenly, if if I may say so myself. Um I'll take little plate. This is probably the only DAW it works in. God damn. Right now what I gotta do is send all my shit to each other. So I gotta send this to... I gotta send reverb to delay and send reverb to bus. I'm sorry, plate. Just a touch. A love, a little bit. You feel me? Just a little bit. And then dupe and hit him with the El Duble. No. Yes. And yes. And then, yeah. Like this. They're offset. Remember that. And these two get sent to reverb. Like this. It should look like that. Anyway. Just a touch. All right, cool. Fuck all this noise. We need a new joint. We need an aux input. Um, we call this a key bus. Not to be confused with key flow. I see you in the chat, Pepe. Stereo, auxiliary. Oh, we need funky colors for the buses too. Yo, I forgot how to select all and route it to one channel, but we're gonna try. I know it's like shift and something. Bro, I called it Key Bus. How did you not fucking keep the name of it? Alright. Uh, fingers crossed and shit. Bro, you're supposed to set the input and everything for me, ho. Just... A... Did I successfully do that shit? I think I did. 
Yeah, I thought so, Hope. I shouldn't be hearing that shit. Oh, yeah, I will. <laughs> That's a delay and reverb. What's good, Trey? Oh yeah, it's about to go crazier in a minute. Just give me one second to find my to find my flow and switch my flow up, I guess they call it. I should do an auto pan on that, but I'm not. I'm lazy. Lazier than a bitch. It needs an auto pan though. Fuck. Um, who has auto pan? One of these effects are auto pan and I don't know what it is. I know choruses can do it. Langer sometimes, depending. But I have one effect that does the auto pan bullshit. Roto speaker, maybe? There she goes. It's called Rover. Y'all niggas saying sound toys pan, man. I ain't got that. I don't have any sound toys, guys. I have that joint, that one knob joint. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I forgot what it's called, though. It's Finalizer or whatever. Final Finale or whatever. Neo... Neo finale, y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. That Neo shit does it, but it's not on this list. It might not be Artaz or uh, AAAX, you know what I'm talking about? Sound filled. This is doing it, I'm fine with this. Pancake is free. You guys are not paying attention to what I'm talking about, but that's okay, I love y'all. I have one that does it already. I think you guys are missing that part, that underscore. I already have one. Finish your Neo. There we go, bro. There we go. Is it under dynamics? Nope. Is it under sound field? Nope. It's not even AAAX. I can't even use that. So now I'm going to have to buy the fucking sound toys bundle. And I'm fine with that. I I'm late to that party anyway. But this is cool enough for now, just to get past this shit. Give me the bleep. My beep needs to be louder. You need to know it's chirp, chirp, come outside. Put it right in the middle of your dome piece. All y'all can get reverb. 
There she go. She wait. I think that's all I'm gonna do to this. I just wanted the mix to be really clean. The only thing that I would touch, like for real, on some real shit, is like these EQs and stuff, like those funny SSLs that we got. I'll show you, I'll just fucking do it. What is it called? SSL Channel Strip? Ah, uh, where are you, bitch? There we go. So like stuff like this, I'd fuck with. I'd fuck with the hi-hats especially. You see what I'm saying? Like, all the presets for hi-hats are money. Like, you can't fuck it up. Once you get the starting points, then you adjust them. Like, while I was asking, like, who asked CLA about presets, like, you see how he does his hi-hats? He don't love us. Um, Darlington EDM hi-hats? That seems sensible, right? He doesn't have a... He doesn't put a compressor on his hi-hats. But that's okay. I don't need it. And then we'll play these together. This one's more obtrusive. It's not really a hi-hat. I just want you to know it's there. Bitch. Yeah, some dumb shit like that and turn it down a little bit. Yeah, it's just there. It's a pocket. It's a vibe, bro. And you already know what the vibes are, bro. Hit them with the open hi-hat preset. Fuck what, fuck what anyone's talking about. It's called room when you deal with these nerds. CLA got one. This compressor is perfect, though. Setting-wise. I might have to steal that and save that as a preset. Just as a compressor for drums. The, the attack and release. Fuck it. We might as well go the whole way. Nigga, I'ma break it off. I'ma, I'ma break it down. I'ma, I'ma break it off. Hey, do I like it? I don't think I like that. Do not peek the SSL. Do not. Whatever you do, do not peek this dumb shit. Money in the bag. Bruh. Don't fuck with me during the mix, bro. Hey. Oh, turn it down. 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 Hey. Make a drum bus. Make a uh, make a uh, make a drum bus. Ah, damn it! It's not auto routing a damn thing. That's how you. That's how you give it up in these streets. Now I can move my buses over and bring my 808 over and just focus on those three tracks and balance the three. You feel me? That's what, that's how I give it up in Pro Tools. One day I'll move so much faster, it just won't be so painful to watch. And then I can zero these out, right? And figure it out. That's obviously zero. I'm gonna put on my loudspeakers to see if that's right. It is right. That shit is clean as fuck. That clap sound gay as hell. It's too much of uh, 
this bullshit. There we go. That's why they always say reference on multiple speakers. Pro Tools Day, Sounds of the Cypher, you guessed it. Alright, so the whole thing about Pro Tools is using heat, right? You drive that bitch. Comes to life. We're done. I was telling my bros too, uh, I could put Zulu on this. So if you have Pro Tools, the newer version, go to IO and go to insert. And under insert, like my insert right here uh, is uh, three and four is where I go to, uh, I send out my sound card three and four and I return three and four. That's Zulu, bro. Um, so you just name it that and know that. Left and right, three, four, output and input. Make sure they're the same thing. So this way, on like on my instruments, for instance, I want to put Zulu on it. I could just put IO Zulu on that bitch. And that track will go to my Zulu. So I'll show you. So like, you look at my NPC. I go here. It's not fucking doing it. Hold on. Hold on. It should do it, though. Why aren't you doing it? Are you being weird, my friend? I had it working like two seconds ago, fam. Before I did this video, I had it fucking working. Is it because I'm soloing it? Let's hope not. Hold on. It's because I'm soloing it. What the fuck's the point? Anyway, now it's going through my Zulu. You can see the meter on my NPC. So now I can fuck it up. You can already hear it. And it's real time in Pro Tools, which is cool. Feel me? That's it. We're gonna see if it exports like that though. That I don't know. Now I gotta turn my instrument bus in. So it'll sound realer on the instruments. That's all I can think of doing though. I think I'm good. I need to turn the sheet down a little bit. bring the bitch to life so this this ain't alive yet this is a a cmp put me on to this fuck shit cmp put me on to this this is dude. hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on i got y'all hold on let's do this first let's eq it first oh, i did a great ass job doing that by ear though i ain't gonna hold you i ain't even gonna lie to you Fuck all the other shit. But this, this is the bullshit CMP put me on to. Uh, nigga. Have you ever have you ever rode a limiter into a limiter? I bet you haven't. The, the you you run the best limiter into the best limiter. That's how you do it. How do you open up both of these buggers at once? Nigga, I need to see both of you. Front and center, please. There we go. Goddamn. I had to remember all the Pro Tools shortcuts. But anyway, we will we'll make sure that goddamn bass translates across these damn cell phone speakers.
here, nigga. That's just FGX by itself though, you feel me? Nigga. It's a hit. Anyway. It's alive. You get you get the vibes. You you saw what just happened. That shit's miraculous. That shit's uh the, it's the epitome of easy money. Is what they call that. Where I'm from, that's just called easy money. Bro, come on, yo. I gotta figure out a better way to select these tracks, bro. I am not a fan of uh, Pro Tools uh, select all type, you know, his boundaries or whatever the fuck. Whatever this is called, whatever this behavior is called, I'm not a fan. I'm not enthused. I'm not impressed. All right, anyway. Now we gotta see if my export with hardware works. Ooh. That shit sounds silky, dude. And that's with that's with heat too. It's not just Zulu's only on instruments. Um, goddamn, where's my uh, my shits and giggles? Jared need to speak on this one. I already know how Jared feel about this shit. I already know what Jared. Jared be like, nigga, where I'm at? Tag me in, coach. I'm like, no doubt, Jared. You the MVP of this whole shit, bro. Give me fire. It is, bro. I need this tag to move the fuck over. All right. With some delay, a little this, a little sprinkle, sprinkle. With a little, with a little plate verb on that motherfucking world. That shit goes out. Good, God, uh, we out of here, bro. Fuck out of here with this bullshit. Let's turn it down a little bit. Pro Tools is a hack, bro. That shit sounds stupid, bro. And, and niggas be talking about, oh, I do, dolls don't sound different. Nigga, you watch me make 150 beats in Fruity Loops. They don't sound like this when I'm done. Anyway, we'll, we'll let them figure it out because they're too cheap to buy a doll. But anyway, let's play it back. some young thug lyrics. Vincent Arnold, Heat and Pro Tools is a harmonic octave. God damn, this is so clean, bro. Heat is just a harmonic saturator. So, Heat is a Pro Tools way of tackling digital coldness. <laughs> Hence, they call it Heat. Because, you know, the, the whole thing about mixing in the box that people don't like is that everything sounds perfect or cold or sterile. So, Heat is an add-on that they added. You know, it was like $500 by itself. Um, but it's included if you get this subscription. I got a year subscription of Pro Tools. 
Um, so you get heat and you enable heat through your options, activate heat, and basically is at the top of all your tracks you're going to get these heat, uh, they're not even game meters, they're like, they're, watch when I play the track. You see how this one is turning really bright yellow? You don't control how much each of these get, I guess. But depending on the harmonic register that this drive is going, they'll light up. And you see it's like more crunchier when I do that. But if I turn it down, it goes back to normal. And you can either get it to be bright harmonics or dark harmonics. And that's supposed to fake the console sound within Pro Tools. And it's mad decent, not for nothing. I, don't, I can't I can't say it won't say it sounds like a console, but this shit sounds clean as fuck. And then that plus uh, on my bus I got Zulu, so it's like nigga, hacks. Watch, this is how crazy Pro Tools is, bro. Um in terms of the real time shit, watch, 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 watch. Where's that shit at? My IO, peak game. Cause y'all remember I got more than Zulu. I got my SP four oh four two in this motherfucker. Oh man, my nose is running. So this cold's ready to get the fuck up out of my system. Thank God. Um, insert, insert, I.O. Let's go to SP-404 real quick. Real time, my nigga. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? It's distorted though. I do. Um, I need this before before the monitors. Like that. There she goes. Timbo he 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 the brother uh he uses he uses an abbreviation for his name but he sent it to me hold on the brother envy big t sent it to me because he heard me talk about it on all my streams yeah that's before four brings it to life for, for sure but it but it uh adds noise to the signal and I want to add noise to this kind of beat. I'd add noise to like a hip hop or lo-fi beat. This one will keep clean as possible. Fingers crossed. Now, the only thing I don't know is what happens when you bounce this. Like, will is Pro Tools smart enough to know there are hardware inserts? Oh, I don't gotta save that. I just said save on the bitch, right? Export bounce to disc. And we'll go to uh, we'll go to this month. Twenty four bit interleaved. Let's see what happens. No bitch, you can't offline bounce hardware. It has to be real time, right guys? MG, why don't you have super chat? I have to turn it on, bro. Ash, I appreciate it. I need some tissue, guys. I already got tissue. My girl got this for me last time. It's exporting with the hardware. 
it sounds like. I hear the crispiness in the keys. Shout out to the brother MH who told me to add the Rugrats lock and spill. Why don't you have a super chat? That shit clean as fuck. This nigga Yo Yo Tweet says, Do I have Rona? No, nigga. Rona is a cough. just so clean pro tools why aren't you faster to fucking use and why don't i have battery three and why doesn't serato open in pro tools god damn it sounds crazy bro that's the cheat code the cheat code is niggas got engineers who use pro tools with hardware it ain't a it's not a skill thing as seen by how i made the struggle beat uh, let's make sure it fucking did what i think it did Close. Oh, the other bad thing is when you use hardware and you reopen your project later, if you change your hardware, you're not going to remember. So some people take notes or take pictures. Me, I don't give a AF in this context. So what you would ideally do is on your hardware insert, bounce it or print it. They call it printing. Um, sorry, cuz I ain't got time for that shit. If I had a four figure or five figure budget, I would though. Hint, hint, wink, wink. One more time, we're gonna play this out till it's not cool no more. Let's go to my Pro Tool folder, make sure my session is there. It is. It doesn't include, uh, it doesn't keep my fucking imported waves for some reason. So I'm gonna put that in here. And I'm gonna take all my other project files and put it in here too. off and I realized I spent like $300, $400 on Pro Tools and I'm worrying about Luna when I haven't even perfected my Pro Tools hardware workflow. Um, and it'll work because with Heat and Zulu, I don't think I really need nothing. You know, uh, knock on wood. I do want to get a bus compressor though. Like the black uh, the black one, the, uh, that $3,000 joint. I might buy that. When, whenever that Trump check come in. <laughs> Buy me a goddamn stereo bus compressor. I might fuck around and buy Shadow Hills. Oh. As long as everything is going to be main out, it'll bounce. It doesn't have to be real time. Rudy Rhythms, you can't you can't bounce hardware offline though. You feel me? I don't think yeah. You you can't you can't you, it has to be real time for hardware. Because if it's doing it silently, how's it processing your hardware? Pro Tools be like, know the shortcuts to activate the behavior you want. Low speed, facts. That's going to be that's going to be the thing I, that fucks me up because I'm always switching between DAWs. And Pro Tools uses like three or four buttons at once for shortcuts. And I don't even, I don't even do like Command F stuff. They want me to do like Shift Alt X Command Shift Plus or Minus. Like God damn Pro Tools. One click per function, sir. Where the hell, Luna? <laughs> DJ Georgie Porter said, MG going MAGA. Facts. What's going, Baba? Oh, I sure enough buying some more analog gear with that check. 
DJ Tyson, you know the vibes. Ash said the next tell chirp is essential. It is. Keyflo said LOL Luna. What was uh, CMP talking about? Where's CMP weird ass go? I'm talking about, yo, I got to yell for 30 minutes. Use Blue Cat Serato with halftime. Oh, yeah, yeah. Halftime is not Triple AX either. SSL bus compressor. I think they have a 500 series. Well, Warm Audio made a SSL bus. I don't think I want that one. I think I want the black one. Um, that joint, that joint, that plug-in boutique model that's a VSC. I want to call it Black Hole, but it's not called Black Hole. Or is it? Because there's a Black Hole reverb, and I think there's a Black Hole compressor. I think I want the real one. People using their government 1K for hardware? Yikes. M. Robinson, get with the program, bro. You better off with a Dante setup? I have no idea what that is, bro. CMP is not around, unfortunately. What is this boy talking about? Hold on. Let me see if I can get him on the Google Chrome. I have a manly slam. Isabella, how do you have a manly slam? How do you have a manly slam? You live over there. That's why. You, you be knowing those people in real life. That's what, the, that's what the vibes are. Yo, why TurboTax worrying me about goddamn taxes, first of all? I should send those off. I should send my tax check off. But I didn't know if we were going to survive this week. <clears throat> so, they can fucking wait. <laughs> Where is CMP on my contact registrar? This man ain't here to answer the call, though. That's the weird shit. A do 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 A do 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 Isabella has a very mood too. God, no. He is not answering. Oh, you, you ran into your goddamn chair finally. Can I hear you? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, he said, wait a minute. He said, wait a minute. He said, wait a goddamn minute, sir. There's no sound, sir. Still no sound. <sighs> There you go. Yo, can you hear me now? I'm in the streets, man. No, oh, we're in the streets. Are we live? Are we live on the YouTubes? Um, let me double check. Let's see. Let's see what the numbers talking about. We're live in front of 130 souls. Oh man, that's that's more people than I've ever streamed in front of before. I'm uh, I'm kind of shooketh. Oh. <laughs> nah, man. When I uh. When I hit you up, when I hit you up, bro, I was, I was going through some, uh, I was going through some things, man. Oh, I was, uh, I was, um, it's, it's crazy since everybody's home right now. Yeah. You know, there's, there's so much, there's so much spice on the Twitter sphere. Absolutely. And it's nice. And I was, and I was noticing, and I, I, I didn't want to wait till, uh, I didn't want to wait till, till Sunday to do this because I, because I know if we did, I would, uh. I probably would have cooled off and it wouldn't have been as entertaining um, because, because I'm really, perf I'm really perplexed right now. Like I'm, I'm befuddled. I'm beside myself. Uh, <laughs> I feel, I feel old, Like, bro. I feel old. Okay. I, I feel like, I feel like old. Right. So I was seeing this shit today and uh, I've, I've been seeing it for a couple uh, for it's actually been going on like maybe since Tuesday, bro. There's been people who have been who have been asking like, yo, like like y'all really care who who makes what on the beat? Like why y'all always asking me who made what on the beat? I don't understand why y'all so concerned who did what on the beat. And I'm like, I'm just like, bitch, like if you don't if if, if you don't if you don't reach ass. down. If you don't reach down and feel and feel on those fucking little baby nuts of yours and fucking say and fucking say, I did the hi-hat rolls 
it was me okay i put the hi-hat roll sauce on the beat and i'm proud of it like i just don't i, I just don't know if i want to uh mm. i just don't know um I just don't know how I feel about it, man. Because I seen uh I seen our boy uh Sounds in HD. He Chief was Lou. he was he, he was posting today. Well, I I ain't want to blow up man's alias, <laughs> but, but but um but yeah, bro. Keyflow fucking pissed me off today, bro. I got beef with you, Keyflow. Oh, <laughs> nah, but he he was he was talking about like but like he responded to me. He was like uh. He was like, well, you know, in, in, in today's day and age, isn't it just people trying to pick on each other? And I'm just like, I'm just no. like, dog, I can't, I'm just like, dog, I can't do this with you guys. Right. Because because like because like, bro, like, OK, so much to unpack. Let's start here. <laughs> when you want to, like when you ask somebody oh God. whether whether you're a fan or a producer right whether you're yeah. a fan or a producer and you and you and you want to know and see social media is different now because we could like reach out and touch y'all key flow you said that's I mean? not what he said you got him fucked up okay well then i'm sorry key flow i apologize i got I, I i gotta pull up your chat so i can interact but um uh i'll i'll, I'll pull it up in a second but what i'm saying is People want to know who did what on the beat because yeah. because they're because they're fans and because they're curious of the music. Just because just because we're in an era right now where it's so easy to get into the production uh, community, if you will, uh, if if it's so you know, just because like like doesn't like doesn't mean that necessarily that question is a personal attack on on your contribution. That's not what it means, like bro, yeah. and 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 we're. And we're on a fucking slippery slope, and this is why it pisses me off. Because be, be, because if we go by if we go by the conventional um, wisdom of of our of our younger brothers in the community who who were of the opinion because because I was speaking to I was speaking to one on Twitter. You guys can go read the interaction, and it was it it, it was a good conversation, bro. Like it wasn't tense or nothing um up until you know up until i uh, up until i personalized my response in the end and i fucking I, I knew i was fucking up uh but i didn't have enough characters to to phrase it eloquently but but if you guys go read my interaction my my conversation with flowers from narnia um who's a who's a dope ass producer um it was it was interesting because 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 you got to you got to see someone's perspective who was a fan of music before before they started making music right so before i even really started making music for real i i i, I bought a fuckload of music right i collected mm -hmm. music like you I, I would skip school that's how much i love music i would skip school i would go to i would go to the record store and i would and i would buy the cd you know what I mean? Like I, I, I got caught so driving out of the CD store. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, like, like, like my grandma see me on the road and and and, and snitched to my dad, and he <laughs> and, and he and he fucking beat me up over that shit. He was like, he was like, bro, you fucking you skip math to to buy fucking Snoop Dogg, and he was tight because because he he wasn't corny. He was like, he was like, bro, Snoop Dogg hasn't been good since since Doctor since uh, since he left Doctor Dre, and I and I was like, I was like, but no, dad, it's the top dog album he got back with dre he's like it's not he's like it's not the same i'm not putting up with that shit you know so uh we were having this conversation as we were fighting <laughs> anyways it's good times man but 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 that's a uh that's kind of like a looking glass in, into like our generation right and yes. like like you you go and buy you go and buy the record and then it comes with like this 15 page booklet and you open it up you read it. and that's, and that's how you learn about music. And, and like, that's how we knew Eminem didn't make beats. You yes. know what I'm saying? That's why when Eminem battled evidence, evidence was like, yo, you had this guy program your drums, this guy do your fucking shit. And you call yourself a producer, like, bah, 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 bah. Like we knew, 
what sample was interpolated from it we knew who did the drums you know the, the, there was pictures in the studio for, also we knew who was ghost writing because be, because we knew the rapper's government name credits, yeah. and, and and you could see the writing credits that's why I like when you dorks see the see the fucking these disc records and you're like oh such and such had four, had four rappers like y'all are fucking amazed that producers get writing credits like y'all motherfuckers like really thought it was weird that producers got writing credits credits like like the younger rappers like they yeah just, the world they didn't conversation know. comes from that yeah yeah they yeah they didn't know that so like and and even like even like sample based producers like uh, like um i don't know if um i don't know if you used to like dig for real mg but those those credits is is how you knew who you like to sample right because there would be there would be uh uh, uh like a percussionist or, or or a piano player or or a horn player it happened a lot with horn players right there would be a horn player who who you would go to the store and you would flip over the records and you would mm-hmm. find like yo this bro this dude played the horns on this i i, I don't even got to listen to it i could buy it it's it's in the dollar bin i could trust it boom whatever you know what i mean and what I learned today, what <laughs> I learned today was that if you ask that question, the way that you're viewed by by people is that you are coming for their neck, right? Oh, wow. So, so if there's four people on the track, okay, and they all get producer credit because because God forbid we fucking we give people proper titles. No, every, everybody's got to be the same. Everybody has to be a producer. I don't know why. I don't know why. I, I don't know why it's disrespectful for for you to be a drum programmer. Or even, a triangle even the, God. Yeah. Or a triangle God, even though that's what the fuck you did. Right. So I was told I was told today that, yo, if you're a fan of the music the appropriate the appropriate way to ask that question is to just pick out what what part that you did that that it was that you liked and make sure that you're conveying this information is the most positive way uh because the way most people ask that question is they're doing that to troll us and if we're being trolled we have the right to protect our energy and keep the haters away and I was just like, bro, I was just blown away by that mentality, bro. Like, I just thought that it was, I just thought that it was so timid and fearful that, uh, that, that, you know, that you want to be a music creator and share your soul with the world, but yet you're scared to take credit for what you did on a record. So scared to take credit for what you did on a record that in order, that in order to justify not advertising what you did on the record, you're going to say that the reason why you didn't justify it is because someone might fucking make fun of you, bro. You're worried about people making fun of you. That's so weird for being successful in music you think that somebody could make fun of you for that like that shit blew my mind you know what i mean because be, because because like like go and read the exchange guys so so i'm not like twisting bro's words bro because i because i respect him for for having the conversation with me because a lot of a lot of people a lot of people in his bracket will just like completely dismiss somebody like me and won't even you know and, and won't even like take you know just and, and, and so I appreciate it, bro. Like for real. Thank you for that. Um, but it was just it, it 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 and then you know, like you start you start going down, you start going down a dark path. So, so first, before we go there, right? The relationship with haters from from years past, way way over yonder, you know. Yeah. When we used to have to uh, uh, walk barefoot in the snow to get to to get to Guitar Center to buy to buy floppy disks for our NPCs, um, do you remember? You remember what the relationship was like with haters? We valued them. We welcomed them. It wasn't. We, it wasn't. We begged it for wasn't them. Spooky, you know. When yeah, when we had haters. When, when the haters popped up, we celebrated. Yeah. So much to the point that people made it a thing. Like, like, like if you like, like if you didn't have haters, someone will call you out and be like, "Yo, why you, why you always talk about how you got haters? Nobody, nobody hates on you." Right. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, like our songs about haters was like literally high haters, high haters. Bro, bro had a whole fucking shirt about that shit. Like that was his lead. That was Mano's lead single. That, yes. that, 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 that what was it? That's what was in the zeitgeist at the time. It was, it was such an honor that somebody cared about you so much that they would, that they, that they would put that energy into you to stalk you and make fun of you and leave weird comments. Yeah. But today is and different because they got video chat and stuff. Maybe they're scared of people being animated on Instagram lives and posts and, you know, fucking quick edits and all that shit because people laugh now because it could be funny. So it's not even, I don't think it's a hater thing. I think people don't want to be made fun of, or what I mean is to become a, to become the object or butt of a joke. Yeah. See, they don't want to become a meme. There it is. They don't want to be a meme. But the thing is, man, if you're a meme, you've got you've got more you've got the most tick in this in this economy. Yeah. You have You seen your boy you put have, that flyer up today in his like prom outfit when he went to prom by himself. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like people like like people are dying to be memed. People yeah. like 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 your boy uh your boy fucking CK1 with the with, with the with the lactate joint, bro. You know what I mean? Like 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 just begging to to jump on the soundboard with that shit. You know, like and it's just it is so so it takes so that was interesting, right? So because because you know I like to you can you can tell so much about uh different generations by um, the lyrics in their music, right? So if you and, and when I was listening to when I was listening to some of the, to some of this new uh, like uh, trap music before I gave up on it and just completely just only listen to UK drill now because even if because even if like because even if they are like talking some pussy fuck shit, I can't really understand all of it yet. So so I'm just hearing the rhythms, but for the most part, they're just talking about stabbing each other and like yo don't talk about stabbing <laughs> nobody when you ain't stabbed nobody and I'll fucking stab you with like nah you ain't really stabbed nobody. See I, I can fuck with that, bro. I'm toxic, but um the uh. <laughs> Oh like God. the shit that like like when you listen to uh to like little baby and uh, you know what i mean and and what they're talking about like i'm like oh okay i get it like this is like this like this is in the psyche this is in the mass this is in the in the mass mind where it's like the jadens you know, the like, cadence the aidens the team rocket the rocket power in spongebob looking ass niggas yeah bro like like oh i'm so skinny i can't fight heard i like like it was really weird to me, bro. Like I've never heard so many people talking about they smoke weed because because they can't cope with life. Like when I yeah, like I was like like the uh, I was going through the new releases this morning, and and I just couldn't. Like I tried all of them and I couldn't do it. I couldn't like I couldn't do party. I couldn't do Jeezy. I couldn't do um I couldn't do Slim Thug. And and then I got to ODB uh remastered for 2020 i was like why are we even doing this like this this there's no way this is gonna sound better like why would you remaster this for 2020 but i was interested so i listened to it and um you know bro says bro says with my mind stimulated from my from my sensibility blunt uh you know and then he sat down to kick game you know to a girl in school right like it and, and and that's the that's the difference like ugh, the reason why i smoke blunts is because people hate on me Versus like, yo, I got high as fuck so I can say some creative stuff to this lady, which I'm going to have sex with after school. You know what I mean? Like, that shit is so wild to me. Like, it made me feel so old. So old, bro, because because it's that. You turned the frequency down. It, it, it's well it's just the it's just the wavelength is completely different like 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 i'm literally i'm just like literally at a point where i don't understand and that's and and i don't i don't like that because i like to i like to fancy myself as a learned man who can you know who can understand what's happening out here and bro i am lost (laughs) right now (laughs) like 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 i am lost i don't you don't have too many people that have been outside, man. That's all. But I don't know if I'm ready to jump out the window yet and just and and and, and just like and, and just like condemn um condemn the younger folks as uh like uh 
Like, yo, y'all are some whack ass fucking pussy ass motherfuckers, even though that's what seems natural. You know, I mean, it's not it. it's not all of them at all. By no stretch of the imagination. I think it's most of them. Bro, they had the best childhoods ever, bro. Cartoons 24 seven Xbox Live WhatsApp fucking take homework home on a laptop. Like what kind of static do you have to make you have to like put poke your chest out for anything? You can email everything. You can text everything. You can always hide behind a voice that's not yours. And that's their thing. Mm. They never get a chance to use their voice. Mm, that's a bar. Say that again. Yeah. Say that again. They never get a chance to use their voice, man. You can text everything. You can hide behind a voice that isn't yours. Mm-hmm. That's so, what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. That's very interesting. Because I, because like, because I was really, tr- I was really trying to think about it. I was like, I was like, yo, like, why, like, why am I getting so much, you know, so much so much back about this because i was ta- i was talking to bro about that and then and, and then i forgot what keyflow said but keyflow's shit was not on my was not on my same wavelength and i was just like i was just like hold on bro you're fucking you know you, you know you're an older you're an older millennial just like it just like me bro so this shouldn't this like what i'm saying shouldn't be weird bro so you either so you either capping for youtube or or, or or for twitter trying to be everybody's fucking friend or i'm crazy you know what I mean? And I don't think I'm crazy. Right. I don't I, I like like I don't I, I don't think that I'm crazy. I think that I, I think that it's I, I think that it's a really weird thing to to not like it, it just it comes off to me, right? If you don't want to talk about what you did on a record, you're not proud of it. I don't I don't think that I don't think that that's a leap. I don't think that it's a leap to say, like, bro, we all know what the dope part of rap beats are. <laughs> Okay, we all know what it is. So if you didn't do that part, you might not want to tell us. And if and if you don't want to tell us, that that means that the the where I start to have a problem, like where where it becomes a problem with, for me, is like, dog, don't take credit for the best part of the beat if you ain't make the best part of the beat. You know what I mean? Because because other musicians don't get that luxury, bro. And it's yeah. and, and 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 it's the hard and, pan saxophonist doesn't get his name as a producer. No, and it's it's not even being about like like if you like if you put it in a rock sense, bro. The bass player never gets to take credit for the guitar solo, right? Ever, ever. And the band doesn't get to take credit for being the fucking lead, lead singer, bro. Right. Like 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 I don't like I don't like how the and, and i don't I, like i don't like how the younger generation in our community is trying to socialize the musical pecking order bro because because the, because that's really what's going to happen because that's really what's happening it's right turning into communism yes yeah yeah they they're saying they're saying like no we're all the same like like we like we're all there and it's like nah no, bro you're not. one of you motherfuckers in that room one of you just had the cool friends right maybe i want to know who that is so i know who so i know who to tell these other these other motherfuckers to send the emails to so they don't waste their time sending the emails to the guy who does who just does the drums (laughs) you see what i'm saying like i want to because it's like it's like bro like we like we had it right we had uh the most famous example of it was puffy Right. Mm -hmm. So Puffy. So Puffy got producer credit on everything. Puffy got producer credit on everything, bro. You know, D dot made the made the made the Benjamins beat. Everybody thought Puffy made that beat. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like you like you had to you had to really dig deep to know to know the difference until uh until the article and vibe came out where the hitmen were disgruntled with him and they you know they told they told and then everybody knew. But the thing was when when confronted with it and and people ask puffy what he did on those beats he straight up told you he's like listen bro i i, I provided the vibe yeah. you know what i mean I, I i provided the opportunity i did that you know i brought i brought other you know other young uh, other young black musicians up from the hood and gave and gave them opportunities to be a part of hits yeah. you know and i took them to trinidad and i did this and i did that and Facts. there is and 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 when he and when he was able to 
to step, you know, to, to step in his truth and speak it and be confident with it. Look at look, look at the career path that it manifested, bro. Being a puss ass hoe who who's who's who, who's scared as fuck to just to just say that all you did was the hi hats ain't gonna get you there, chief. It's gonna get you fucked. Yeah. It's going to get you fucked because that, ener- that energy transfers to everything. That's not just a beat yeah. maker producer thing. That energy is true for the workplace. The energy is true for like romance. That energy is true for like if you walk into a gas station and someone violate you. This this ain't a facade for beat makers. This is literally the way you have to be to move around life when you're not in front of a digital screen. Yes. Like you have to know where your ledge is, of course. You know, you don't want to go picking battles in every last single scenario, but you have to have that kind of energy about you to avoid a lot of downfalls and traps. And a lot of people getting fucked in the music industry is because they're pretending like they're everyone's friend. And then the, the sharks or the sociopaths on the other side can see the game before it gets there and treats them like that. That's why everyone's getting fucked. You guys are getting fucked by narcissists and you're too pussy to call them a narcissist. So you don't ever discuss like, yo, Bro's really full of himself and he think he's the man, but reality is me and these three dudes actually did the beat for him. But since y'all think like he's gonna do something terrible to you besides become a narcissist, you you never get your chance to glow or shine or grow or or fuck, let the fucking car crash so you can go left and work with somebody else. Like it just for me it doesn't seem practical or long term or nothing. Um especially since you you can't take credit anyway. So like who are you protecting? You're not protecting your own self-interest. You're protecting some other dude, bro. Shit's weird. Let me see. What what's Keyflow talking they about? They don't pay you enough money for that shit. What's Keyflow talking about? But my question is, do you care about who did the hi-hat? If you find out somebody only made out the hi-hat, you're kind of dismissing him. Keyflow, explain to me why if I find out somebody only made the hi-hat, am I dismissing them? Or am I or 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 am I crediting them with their proper contribution to a record? Like, let me know. Let let me know by 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 not assuming that this that this person did anything more than create a hi hat pattern on a trap record. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See, cause see, cause what y'all are fucking up is you're fucking over fluffifying what we're actually doing. <laughs> out here it's it no it's not a snarky credit bro it's an honest credit it's it, it's it, it's a real credit bro if if what you if what you contributed to the record was that's all you did that's all you did it's telling me that it's that it's a snarky this is because you know how fucking easy that is bro stop playing with me yeah. Stop playing with me, bro, because you know how easy that is, bro. And there's a hard part in that beat. And if I'm a producer, I want to know who did the hard part. Right. I want to know who did the hard part. Just like yo ass want to know who do that. Stop playing with me, Keyflow. Why are you fucking with me right now? Yeah, you want to know who did the hard part. No one gives a fuck who did open ads. Um, that's the obvious part. Um, but it, it speaks to something else, too. It's not just like you're not begrudging or belittling the guy, the hi hat guy. You're saying, why is this nigga who's supposed to get paid all this money and all these salutations, all this credit, needs a fucking hi hat guy? Yes, that's what we want to know. We're we're asking what part of this beat or which person in this group of producers is dropping the ball to need a fucking kick guy and a hi hat guy? Because it's not helping the music sound better. Or not even that, not even that, because 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 let's reverse it. Who is this producer who's giving all these opportunities to other producers, right? Yeah. You know, who's who's this guy? How can I how can I be a part of his team and work my way and and work my way up to the from the uh, uh, from the fucking fryer and make it to the register? You know, where's that where's that going down at? Yeah, it's, it's the reason why everyone like makes it a point to say when they work at somewhere pedestrian that they're the manager. Facts. Niggas don't just be like, yo, I, I'm at McDonald's. They'll always be like, yeah, I'm an assistant manager at McDonald's. Like, it me it is a gravitas to that. Like you do it in every other order of life, bro. If niggas be like, yo, you know, uh, I work at the school, and you be like, I'm the principal versus I'm a gym teacher. Like all those things have a, a, a gravitas to it. So 
if bro is capping about all his placements and their hi hat placements, there's nothing wrong with that. But then in your mind, you go, oh, I'm not really paying attention to the hi hat guy, you know? Awesome. Good for you, bro. Like, celebrate that. But moving on to the next, who who's the actual maestro? Yeah, cause here, because here's the thing, guys. Like, if we're going to, like, if we're going to, if if the way that we're going to judge this shit is we're going to put is we're going to put placement producers on a pedestal, right? Yeah. And we're going to say and we're going to say that these guys these guys are the best at music. Like if that's if if that's how we're judging it, like like yo MG you ain't good, you ain't got no placements I'm better than. Come you, on talk about right? it. Right? You know what I'm saying? If 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 we're going to do that, then what we have to do is we can't let the guy who made the fucking hi-hat on the beat be a part of I have placements. I have a problem with that. Yeah. I have a problem with that. And you and, and you fucking guys should too, bro. I'm tired of I'm 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 tired of y'all motherfuckers trying to, you know, trying to trying to play nice and go along with everybody who has placements just because you think you're going to get a fucking placement with these guys, bro. You're these not. guys don't fuck with you, baby. They're narcissists. They're, they're never going to, bro. That you guys need to start watching that shit about narcissists, so, sociopaths and psychopaths. The industry was really ran by some narcissistic A and R or something. I don't know who. I don't know their name, but you could tell all that fear mongering. Like it's how it's like how a person acts in a household where the dad is always beating the mom. That's how producers act today. They act like they don't want to like stir the bees nest. I'm like these little five foot five niggas put fear in your heart. Like they're gonna stop you from feeding your family. Like they're not even putting your name on a fucking song. They they're they're fucking you, making you work, and still not feeding your family. So at least if they put you in the fucking dark, you know you should go somewhere else. While you're in this lure trap of always wondering if they're thinking about you, it seems kind of nutty to me. I see a lot of my brothers do that. I see what you're talking about with Keyflow. Keyflow is always positive though. He's always smiling though. So I get that. But Keyflow does it. Cheddar no, does it. Keyflow DJ you, bro. DJ Kaz does it. DJ Payne one does it. There's so many people from that early 2000s era that never fully went, you know, full Mike Will Kane beats on niggas, and they always act very passive aggressive about shit. Even when they're done, the business is fucked up. They're passive aggressive. Um, I mean, when people don't give them credits, they got to share their own SoundCloud links and, and point to the fucking screenshot on Spotify, but they won't act the motherfucker who fucked it up. Come on, dog. That's your money, bro. So if, you, if you're not running the bat for your money and everybody else sees that, you won't do nothing about your fucking money. You're a fucking bitch. You, you, a narcissist, you, you're fucking prey, bro. So if they do happen to review your email and all your submissions, they're just going to send it to someone else to remake them if they feel like it, if they open it at all. Maybe they just get off on the fact that you're going to bug them for the next three days on whether or not they open the email. Y'all really don't understand how dark and twisted niggas are, bro. Especially niggas who have the power, authority, or money over you. They like dangling carrots, bro. And a lot of you niggas are just rabbits chasing carrots. And then, then we come out and we provoke the response like, yo, what the fuck's really going on? Why is there five niggas on here and none of you have something better than a focus right two? That's a valid question. That's not belittling niggas who got focus right twos. That's not belittling niggas who have humble beginnings. I remember the conversation just plays like $50,000 a beat. I know how to do the math in my head, nigga. 50000 divided by five should be 10000 right? Give or take. There's no reason why no one in this music industry with placements with an S should have a fucking focus right too right now. That doesn't make sense. And because you guys won't speak up because you pussy, then it's always going to seem crazy and the industry's going to fall apart anyway. And then, you know, we look like, you know, the old heads. That hit. No, 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 my nigga. This is about manhood. They ain't got shit to do with hating or old heads or placements. None of that. Fuck all that shit, bro. At the end of the day, niggas are screwing y'all no Vaseline. And y'all still sign up for that shit to get some B-side placements. Fuck out of here, bro. Fuck them niggas. And if you stop acting like they're such and such and so important and everything's a fucking meritocracy, they'll go the fuck away. So one of y'all niggas could be the better A&R and give everybody else opportunities, nigga. They on a quota too. Like, come on, think about it. Take the, take the fucking head off the snake, nigga. But anyway, that that's if it were me. If, if this world were mine. <laughs> yeah, bro. I don't know, man. Like, that's where that's where I'm always that that's where I'm always just just taken aback is like yo like what would y'all dad say about this <laughs> you know you know what I mean like 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 can y'all like can y'all call your dad can y'all call your dad and 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 have this conversation with him bro because 
because uh, because y'all like you're so confident fucking like like talking to another man about uh, about how ho type tendencies is is how we need to be moving but could you tell your father that like could you really could, could you really do that and if your dad ain't it your granddad what's your granddad think about this weird shit he'll look at you like you you scared of niggas on the internet what the fuck's the internet <laughs> Yo, 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 shout out to uh shout out to uh sh- shout out to to King Commit's girl. Said, she said she said them. this is why you watch them for an hour. This is why you watch them so they can insult you for an hour. God damn. Damn King Commit's girl. We're yo, not insulting we, him. Yeah, that's what we sound like, bro. That's what we sound like. But we're not insulting the listener. No. The listener isn't the one you know, humble like perfect example. The ear drummers. When the e Erp song came out, you notice bro's attitude was like, yo, like people didn't believe in us. Like, yeah. until this actually happened, he made it sound like like they were having a hard time, right? And you know who people were. And people is Mike Will. Like, come yeah, on. Mike, Mike Will is people. <laughs> yeah, Mike Will is people, right? But they want to say the boogeyman's name, right? But peep game. Peep how sick and twisted that whole scenario was. You got two niggas out of four who made a beat. And felt like they're about to get shelved by another nigga who is their production company name head chairman. And when they went to review their beat on a deconstructed, they were snarkily giving credit to the hi hat guy and the 808 guy. Like that stood out. Like that was a red flag to me. I was like, how are you sitting there lamenting about people counting you out when the two people who contributed the best parts of this track, you barely wanted to give them credit? One nigga said, yo, here's your credit. So what are we talking about? These are the same kids that are saying like, yo, you know, you don't want to belittle someone, but the people that you look up to and you slobbing on their fucking knob, they belittled their whole team, bro. Like people on their same team. Not a nigga on the internet, not a nigga on Instagram and Twitter. Like people who actually made a record with them. They belittled them niggas in real time and everyone ignored it. Like that shit is on on, on deaf ears. But when we bring it to light and, and just flat out show you and say it, like, oh, you know, may pontificate upon the pontifications. My nigga is on the fucking no interview, bro. Like, goddamn. Like, I, st- I know y'all saw that shit, bro. So, what are we talking about? Yeah, bro. But that's that's all I had, bro. That shit. That that shit. That shit really jumped in my blood, bro. Especially fucking key flow. On like, I just, I just don't understand. Keith, 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 Keith Flo needs to call in, bro. He needs, he, he needs to. <laughs> Long time like, fan of the show, first time yeah, caller. Cause it, yeah, yeah, because I feel like I, I feel like a lot is getting lost. I, I, I want, I want the other side. And I know, and, and I know a couple, I know a couple people mentioned it in the chats. Yo, man. Oh, 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 key, oh okay. I got a key flow. I got key flow. Oh man, I wonder. That's how technology works. Long time listener. (laughs) (laughs) What it do, baby? What up? Hold on, let me uh, let me turn my. Hold on, hold on, give me a second. (laughs) Mm, We we summoned the goat. Yo. Yo, yo, y'all, 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 y'all don't even know, bro, because because I ride out on Keyflow, bro. But y'all don't know how much respect and uh and and admiration I got for this man, bro. He's he's literally a fucking goat. Same, 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 you and MG, you already know how I feel. But what I was saying was, right, you know these kids are collabing for four producers to one beat. Facts. Right? You know this. Facts. And if the music is mids, do you really care who did what? Okay, so you didn't say that. You didn't say that. Uh, that's that, that 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 that's a different framing. That's that's a completely different framing. Um no. Uh, let's put it like this. Let's put it like this. All right. So you know, you know, you know. I know how to make beats, right? Right. And if I told you I got a placement and only did the hi hat, you looking at me kind of funny. Of course. And if I'm lying, and if I'm lying, let me know. Of of yeah. course, but the but but the reason why I'm looking at you funny is why didn't you is 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 not because is not because you're bad or you're not talented. I'm looking at you funny because like hold on. I want to know exactly how that works because I've never been in a situation where all I've gotten to contribute is a hi hat, and most of us haven't been in that situation because because we produce as like as self contained entities, right? Yeah. So, right. so 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 if you're making a beat, especially 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 people from our era, Keyflow, because we had to we had to do everything. 
we had we had to do things we weren't supposed to do bro you know what i mean so 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 we're looking so we're looking at this other generation and we're like yo why does it take so many of you right and we just and we just want to know the answer and we can't get the answer that's why we want to know it's it, it's not because i'm so mystified by um by the actual technique i just i just want to know like why is the collaboration so heavy do you have an answer for that as far as collaborate like me personally i like collaboration so i see where people i see where the kids want to collaborate it's like oh you know how to do this so i'm gonna i'm gonna make a beat with you but i'll tell you a story real quick right okay so um i collab frequently with this guy named lee and sometimes i'm um i'm collabing with his boy sean as well right so i remember we were working on the track it didn't get placed but we were working on the track and i did a lot in the track but they wound up only keeping the hi-hat and like a kick drum Oh, the hi hat god! This is how you become a hi hat god. Yeah, but it's not because the parts they played were better than mine, and I I admitted that. I was like, okay, yeah, that's better. Like I'm not even going to fight you for that. Like, okay, okay, that melody is better. So when I come to someone and say, hey man, you know they only kept the hi hat and the kick. <laughs> that's that's how I'm looking at it. It's like okay, I kind of feel a shame just saying like, okay, this super beat, nice melody, everything, chords hitting but only contributed to hi-hat. I'm not going to tell nobody that. <laughs> but why not, bro? You're, the, you're not, you're not, you're like, not just like soft. you told, I'm, I'm, like you I'm just not, told that I'm story. For me, for who I am, if they found out Keith only did a hi-hat. <laughs> nah, bro, you're Keith the goat, bro. You can't, you can't even talk to me like this right now, bro. Like, cause it be, be, because now you're making me feel weird. Like that, that, that I'm nah, just, nah, nah. And that, and I just want to, and I just want to say what you said wasn't weird because I come from the era of grabbing those CDs and reading through the booklets to find out who did what. Right, right, for sure. But you know this era now. I'm saying there's like collaborations left and right. I'm, I know you don't care what if KBZ did like the hi hat or the kick drum or what. You don't care. CMP doesn't care. But if it was someone more elite that you really respect yeah you care yeah I, yeah i wanted I, i'm i'm the, the thing is like the reason see i don't i don't ask because like because like on, on some g shit i don't fucking i don't care at all but what was interesting to me and what made me want to have the conversation here with you on twitter with anybody who will have this conversation to me is why don't you want to tell us because it's just it's just like if i'm a part if if i'm a part of a successful record that is so successful that people want to know the ins and the outs yeah. of it i'm gonna tell you what i did right. e e all right so so a successful re record absolutely if i got like a whole place like yo yo i did them hi-hats yeah i did those hi-hats okay but if it's like a small placement i'm not telling you what i did like <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm dismissing it myself for me personally, because of what I know I can contribute. And if someone found out I only did hi-hats, it's like, oh, wow. You know, wow. Yeah. But, 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 but I think that, I, I think that like with the social era that we're in, it, it's, it's just weird how we don't want to be social about certain things. Right. So that story, <laughs> that, that story that you just, that you just shared with us about uh, about having a situation where you made something and then you collaborated with somebody who was able to add something that was you know that was maybe i don't know how better musically more significant fit in the track whatever you want to call it to to the point where all they kept of your piece like that like that's an interesting conversation that's that's something that we you know like like the same people who the same people who are fucking telling me that that they can't tell nobody about you know about their contributions to the records are the same people who are telling me that we're that we're a fucking big old community you know what i mean so i'm 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 just i'm, I'm just wondering like is there two sides bro like like that like that's my thing but i uh I understand. I understand where you're coming from when you phrase it like that, bro. It makes it 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 it, it makes a little bit more sense. It just it couldn't be me, bro. I don't know, I know, but you know, it's good to have two different points of views on this. And you know, I'm gonna continue listening to you guys. I'm not mad at you guys. None of that. You know, it's all respect. No, nah, always, stuff. always, bro. Yeah. All right, bro. I'll talk to you later, dog. All right, awesome. man. Peace. Peace. Awesome. I wish he, I, I wish he would have got on the uh I wish he would have got on the uh on the hangouts so we could uh so 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 you could have chimed in too because I know you had questions for him.
No, I, I got I got what he was saying. It's it's a pride. It's part of its pride, and the other part is you know it's not important until I do something more you know more significant, and I'd rather uh, talk about the things that are significant. Um, some, sometimes it's a conversation that's at the bottom, right? Um, I experienced that with my DMs, where people like today I'm experiencing it, where everyone is saying to me, "Hey, MG, did you check out that Jake One video?" And for me, it's kind of like insulting. But I can't. But I can't express it. I can't be mad at the people who love watching content and look up to these producers, yeah, and who make the connection or words connect in their mind. And I don't know why they're asking me that, right? Because I haven't watched it yet. It's not clear to me. So I don't know why they're asking me that. Based on what I know, it's insulting. Like I wouldn't want me to watch that video if it's what I think you're about to go with it. So why ask? And it's the same thing. Like. This is a big record. I only did hi hats. Why are you asking me? It's it's I, I see where, where they're standing at it, where they're trying to stand from. Um for me though, I mean I don't think the way these niggas wave their dick around for placements and, and being That's significant. What I'm saying, bro, you can't fucking you have claim it both ways. Placement. Yeah, you, you can't, ha- you can't claim have it both ways. Big bad industry producer. You can't do it, bro. You can't do it yeah they they're, do, just, they're doing it both ways so. <laughs> you can't do it bro like i'm not here for it i'm not here yeah you for can't it. use that i got placements parentheses hi-hats anytime there's a discussion in public to make sure that it seems that your opinion is valid yeah because the because the same people who are saying that people are trying to dismiss them those people are the same people who are trying to, to take dismiss credit yes for something that they really didn't do and dismiss everyone else. else. Yep. These Facts. are these are these these are these weirdos talking Narcissus. about to, the, the, bro they're talk, they're talking about they're nominated for 16 fucking Grammys. Yeah. And none of the songs that they actually produced are on the Grammys, just the album that those songs were on. You know what I'm saying? And I'm tired of fucking moving the bar, bro. Like I'm tired of moving the bar because we've gotten to a short bus moment in music, bro. What's Av talking about? The only reason why you're hearing from the big name producers right now is because they're bored in quarantine. As soon as it's messed up, you'll never hear from them again. <laughs> what do you think about that, OG? What happened? He said. He said the only reason why you're hearing from big name producers is because they're bored and locked up at home. Oh, as soon as the, the system start, they'll disappear. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's absolutely true. By shook or by crook. <laughs> but no, I'm not a fi- no, no. I, I don't. You know, I know why. I know why people are making the comment though. I'm just don't know why they're making it to me. Like, wh- what do I benefit from knowing that? I haven't benefited in the past three years of being on YouTube with all these niggas that do that. You know what I mean? Like enough is enough. You know, like that's part of the catpocalypse meme. It's like a lot of them got that spirit of Ogun on them because they steal so much. Um, and that's the way I set it up. So it's like at some point you got to do the right thing, and and that's kind of like this conversation is overarching into all those little concentric circles. It's all the same thing. It's all it's all about doing the right thing or saying the right thing or yeah, man. especially bro, it'd be different, right? Like here's the shit I'd be tripping on, right? Like it's one thing to watch. I I'll be specific. It's cool to watch me and learn something and go get your money and get your placements. I think where it gets fuzzy for me though is when a nigga takes that and make a new video out of it like they figured it out on their own. Yeah, well, yeah, because because like I, I I know what you're talking about, and I was and I was thinking about like uh like for example when um when the uh when Av did his video on the damn uh on the damn um what's it called um NPC Live right yeah. and the, the Mark II you know he was he was in my chat with us when when somebody had shared it with me and we and we went over it on Friday you know what I'm saying and he's like he was just like he he started his video and he was like yo shout out to cmp you know what i mean and that's and that's kind of and that's and that's the that's the that's like it in the youtube community that's what we do yeah you know what i mean like if we're if we're gonna if 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 we're gonna go and 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 show something you know that you know that we got you know we you know we put it in you know we put it in the bibliography we say hey bro you know what i mean like when you first um 
when I first uh when I first started coming when I first started coming across your channel and you were like I, I think you were talking about Melodyne and stuff and I had Melodyne videos I hit you up and I was like because you were talking about like people stealing people stealing your stuff I came across you I was like man I, I teach a lot of stuff I was this motherfucker talking about me bro and I was like yo who you talk about and then the next day you did a video about all the other people not named CMP who and you were like nah this is what I mean dude look at this look at this look at this and I was like oh okay okay you know you know we do that but yeah that was uh. That was definitely a weirdo moment, bro. Cause it was because, because I was, <laughs> I, I was happy. I was happy to see bro, like, like using, like using the stuff and, 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 and like, it, it's weird, right? Because, because of the, uh, because of the dialogue that you and me have, um, people will, people will hit me up and they'll be like, yo, CMP, this, you know, such and such is using your stuff, you know, can you believe it? And it, you know, it'll be, it'll be someone in the industry or something. And I'll, and I, I got to a place where it's just like, oh, well, you know, I didn't just want to teach people who were never going to, to make do it. something with Facts. it. You know what I Facts. mean? Like, <laughs> like I wanted, I wanted, I wanted to show people shit and for them to fucking kill it. You know, I, I wanted to, the, them to make, you know, great records and whoever it is to, to, uh, you know, to, to do their workflow and stuff like that. So yeah, that's, a, that's not a problem. That's, a, that, that's not what I'm talking about. It's when you, it's when you come down off of Mount Olympus yes. with all of, with all of your clout. And then and then you're like and, and then you come here and you start showing workflows. Yeah. That that you had that you had to come here to get because before that you couldn't get rid of your hardware that you had been using for 20 fucking years because you couldn't figure out a computer. Right. Okay. It didn't how 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 do I get this workflow on the computer? I just can't. Yeah, and now, and now and now all and now all of a sudden now all of a sudden you got a couple you got a couple key pieces of software that makes it work just like your old keyboard and you're just like oh yeah look at I've, I've been making music like this for figured it out by myself you know even though that's not what was said but that's that's the way it comes off man it comes it comes off that way especially when these people know who we are one two we've reached out to them and showed them love three if you're watching, you know we have this conversation fucking once a week now. Bro. So now it's disrespect. But here's the thing. That's that's the <laughs> that's the other level. It's disrespect at that point. Cause if you didn't watch me, right? If you didn't watch it, if you didn't get it from me, you have no idea who the fuck I am. I'm a madman. I'm a madman and there's the biggest coincidence on fucking YouTube Earth. <laughs> but if it's the other way around, which is always feels like it's the other way around, then you then you're fucking gaslighting, bro. And and I pray Ogun handles your ass. Period. Like like I'm tired. Enough is enough with this cap shit, bro. Like for real, bro. Like like man, this shit is corny, bro. Because niggas would hold me to that same standard, bro. Niggas would crucify me for the same shit. Yeah, for real. Yeah, it's just it's it, it it's not hard. It, it's not hard. Like if like if you guys are you know if you guys are gonna come down and 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 start and start showing your screens and start showing your plugins like fucking just say like yo shout out shout out to av mccree you know he made this he, he made this awesome electro pack you know yeah first the first the first time i seen it was such and such and such yo shout out busy works beats i didn't know how to reverse something in fl studio you know Hey, shout out MG the future. This fucking crazy guy showed everybody Melodyne and made me really fucking be like, yo, I should try this. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I, I never thought I never thought I'd spend seven hundred dollars on a on, R- RX7 on a- and shit. <laughs> yeah, bro. This shit costs seven hundred dollars, bro. If you got a if, if you got an ASR, if you got an ASR in your fucking crib, <laughs> why the fuck you spending seven hundred dollars on 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 a on a uh, recording um repair software, software. Yeah. unless you unless you saw somebody put it to work in a way that would that would justify hey. 700 fucking dollars yeah bro come on man it, it, like like something's got to change your life to pay 700 dollars i didn't even buy that fucking plugin bro i did the review for plugin boutique so i could get it for free you know what i mean like like it's it's, it's not that serious bro 
Adam McCree said if these legendary producers showed their screens, they wouldn't be hiding anything. <laughs> they wouldn't be hiding nothing but presets, basically. Oh, hold on, Av. I- I'm not against the magic of the producer or beat maker. Let me let me make this clear one more time. When a person, if it's that's the case, if the workflow is succinct and it takes them ten minutes to make their best song for whoever, that's cool. Celebrate them. It's when they come back. It's when they ratchet down to our level. Is what I'm talking about, bro. It's only yeah. when they get in front of a camera and start talking about it and showing you. Like, I'm watching a nigga describe to me my own video. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that was my first YouTube video. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Kanye Harmonic Mixing is my first shit out. It's the, the one that took off, bro. So, like, that's wild to me. Because they would never say that, share that, or discuss how you do that on a hardware platform or how they do that shit by ear. But the moment it becomes software and you can sample match and key match with all this additional software that does it with a few clicks, all of a sudden everybody wants to fucking talk about it. You guys see what I'm saying? Like, if we asked them about parallel compression five, ten years ago, they wouldn't tell us what their favorite compressor are. Mm-hmm. But now that we got Serato Studio and shit, now they want to talk about Serato Studio. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. And the baseline yeah. still out of the key. Fuck out of here. So, you know what I'm saying? So, you didn't develop that workflow. Because if you were to develop the workflow, the baseline wouldn't be out of key. Yeah, that's that's really what it is, bro. It's it, it's it's like, yo, y'all can y'all could play like this is like this is Gear Sluts. If if you post on Gear Sluts, but if you post but if you post but if you post on YouTube, you can't you can't be acting like you got some you got some secret from fucking hip hop Jesus, bro. You know what I mean? Because I, I because because bro, like I just don't understand like what is like what harm is is gonna come at from anybody just from just from telling the truth bro about uh, about any of it you know even even the kids on producer grind cap right that's that's the first question they ask everybody like who do you watch on youtube like hey bro you watch watch tutorials and then they're like oh you know and and then they'll they'll say one person they'll say one person and they'll keep it moving which if any of which if any of you guys have 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 a phone or if you have or if you have a laptop and you experience content once you get into a content funnel you don't you don't just watch one guy right you watch everybody you watch you watch kbz you watch bro beats you watch craftmaster you watch av you know what i'm saying until until somebody says something that pisses you off that you know that doesn't agree with your worldview or something and you're just like er you know uh craftmaster made that stupid video about how to uh, improve the you know the 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 studio one piano roll is faster than fucking fl studio i hate him blah i'm never gonna watch him again boom you know hide from channel yeah he said uh if they give away they got their sauce they feel like their followers no longer follow them my question is if they're producers with placements why they worry about beat makers following them yeah i don't i i I, I would be really disappointed that that would be the case because the music fan who loves their music does not give a fuck about the nerdy beat making stuff. No. No. It's no, a very it's, that's, it's a very that's small us, clip. my nigga. That's our community. That that's that's where this stays. This doesn't elevate beyond that. Like, for instance, them giving them giving me props or a shout out or acknowledgement or a retweet would only show up on the radar of ten more people who don't already fucking watch me anyway. So so they're not even at a point of leverage to help me anymore. I don't even need it, is what I'm saying. It just comes off disgusting to me. That's all. It looks weird, yeah. bro. <laughs> Yo, Birdman C said y'all sounded really old right now. We Birdman, might. you just you, you you just tune in, bro. Like that's that's how I started. That that that's what this that's what this whole talk is about. Is about is about how old I sound, bro. Thank you for paying attention. Shout out to shout out to Birdman C. Captain oh. Obvious has entered the building. Chirp chirp sound. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Shout out! Shout out to my gray beard. <laughs> oh shit! Shinji's in the building. Shit's about to get toxic. Oh, Birdman is older than both of us. He's 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 he's, he's welcome. He's welcoming us into the club. <laughs> we here. 
I don't, I don't think they can give away secret sauce, guys. I really think these niggas had people collect records for them, and they chopped it up and just happened to put good loops together and had a connection to make records. I don't really think there's a lot of magic involved. There's really not too much they can share, bro. I watched them. I watched their screens with Pro Tools. I watched them have a two-bar or four-bar interval and spread it across the screen like I just did two hours ago. That's your boy, uh, Drugs Beats. Whether it's Jake One, whether it's Ill Mind, they all do the same thing everyone does. There is no secret sauce. Yeah, the secret yeah. sauce is the magic of marketing and promotion of an actual record that people care about. How we got to that point, you know, how do you turn on the ASR and time stretch a sample and, and slow down your fucking floppy disk save times? Maybe they could tell us about that. But once you get into the computer and you get into what we do with the tools that we use and teach, they can't hey, fucking act like they had time to waste to learn how to do that shit from scratch. That doesn't even fucking make sense. Look at your chat. Look at what Birdman wrote. Hey, Birdman. What'd you play in Tipsy? He co-produced Tipsy by j but no credit. But he still got paid, though. What'd you play? Did the hi-hat? Did you do the uh, <laughs> Did you do the Just Blaze hat and snare? I always mm-hmm. wanted to know why that sounded like a Just Blaze beat. Since you're here, hi- ah! <laughs> he did hi hats. He did the Just Blaze hi hats. <laughs> now, Birdman, did you do the Just Blaze hi hats, or is hot, or is Just Blaze doing your hi hats? I fuck with Birdman, boy. <laughs> I fuck with Bird. He said hi hats, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Birdman is. He said he got paid for it though, so you can't yeah. even clown him. Like if he's if he's if he's being serious and he did the fucking the pitching the sixteen step pitch or what is that shit called full level or sixteen level hi hat pitch on an NPC and he got paid for it, nigga. Yo, that hi bro, that hi hat is high key. <laughs> the best part of the beat, bro. Yes. Like, what's the rest of the beat? It's, it's like it's like someone to grinding. Pattern. It's like grinding yeah, in it's, it's the gr- it's the grinding kick pattern. It's the grinding kick pattern and that mm-hmm. God, I touched a lot of butts to that song. Bum, 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 bum. Everybody in the club gets tipsy. Everybody in the club gets tipsy. Bro, that bro, that shit used to make the fucking the white tourists in Fort Lauderdale fucking lose their morals. It probably dog. still can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you get tipsy, Return of the Mac, and a few others, man. You shut, you shut oh, the dude, whole Return city of the down. Mac. Return of the Mac is the greatest song of all time. <laughs> That that shit is so. He said, "Ab says this is we will rock you type beats." No, nah, they, nah, they make the we will rock you drums. There's a there's a grace note at the before before the downbeat, bro. I, I remember that kick pattern. I've heard it so many times. Hey, like, bro, like when we, when we be outside of the clubs, bro. Like if that song, was, I would run into a club because fucking that that's that's when the girls would start acting stupid, bro. He said, "Damn y'all." Old. <laughs> He's a great <laughs> LOL. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, this just got done calling us young, bro. <laughs> I know. I like that song low key, but nobody did one to the two to the three in the four, like DOC. Okay, first of all, conundrums is like conundrums is way too 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 true school, bro. Cause that is like that is such a conundrum ass line, bro. Cause we all know that one to the two to the three to the four, the best one that ever happened isn't DOC. Oh yeah, we facts. all we, we we all know who has the best one, but Conundrums has to has to be like, nah, the the, the original one was w- w- was Buddy from Dallas, bro. Fuck the guy from California. Similar to those letters, no one could do it better. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he said, y'all never taught me what a downbeat was. Yo, I need you to stop. Jayon. The down the downbeat is the part in your DAW that has the one above it. It's the That's the downbeat. Every time I hit, that's the downbeat. It's the one of bars, one, two, three, four. Yeah, when you count bars, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, four. That's fucking the one is is the downbeat, sir. Oh, they talking shit about uh, Meek Mill and Trizzy now. Yeah. How do you like that? 
that Meek Mill flew out the Super Finger Drummer, then he went back on Twitter to say he's looking for beats on YouTube. I was gonna save that one for Sunday, but you know, since we're here, it's gonna be spy- it, 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 man. You know how much dumb shit's gonna happen tomorrow after Trump and Saturday? Yeah, yeah. No, we got. Uh, I mean, I just I, I thought that it was. I thought that I I think that it's in an interesting place right now, bro. Um, where I really think I really think that. Uh, I really think that the producers that are that are not in the industry are are the goats right now, bro. But but the path to goathood is being is is being gatekey is being fucking uh is being um they're gatekeeping it and 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 these kids are allowing it to happen by fucking by just epic amounts of fucking uh clout chasing and um and fanfare you know just Facts. just just being so willing to go to go work under somebody and let them put their name on your shit bro like when i ask who who did the beat i'm really uh, i'm really not fucking trying to make fun of you because you only did the hi-hats i'm trying to make fun of the fucking old man who's ta- who's taking credits for your hi-hat slick you know yeah that's that's the that 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 that's what I'm about, but you, but you won't fucking let me do it because you're pussy, and 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 because of that, Mike Will is gonna keep on fucking taking credit for your work, bro. Southside is still gonna is gonna take credit for your work, bro. You know, what I mean, these guys are gonna keep fucking playing your beats and beat battles. You know, yeah, that's the, that that's how the shit's finna go down, bro. Like, um, you know, the, you know, quote unquote tight beat makers get a lot of slack because th- that not not because they're not talented, but because they relentlessly lean into a C- an SEO tactic. You know what I'm saying? And they're super defensive about it, right? So like, so like a tight no tight beat creator wants wants to be a tight beat creator, right? The only time they want to be a tight beat creator is when someone says fucking tight beats, tight beats ain't shit you know then they you know then they then they take up that mantra but what they really want to be is is they want to create music they want to yeah. get they want to get placements they want to make songs they don't just want to post beats on youtube and what and 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 what you and what you wind up happening is these kids are are so dope and so creative um and so you know and so gifted and so and so comfortable with the with the technology that you know that they're that their way of thinking you know un you know because they don't have to worry about um the actual technical part of it they could lean more into the creativity yeah so so it fast tracks them and these older guys in the industry who are still like getting comfortable with the technology have the disadvantage um they're just they're just doper right now dude like period like like period the guys the 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 kids on the internet especially especially the younger ones they're just they're just doper than the fucking guys in the in 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 the industry point blank period and what you've seen with um it's not it's it's not so much trizzy stuff not getting used what was what was interesting was that was that meek mill didn't know it or was, was it I mean? was it Trizzy or Jack Black? I don't know. The but 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 like I'm not even I'm not even worried about those guys because this is something this yeah. is something that I experienced. This is something I experienced in studio. I just want to make sure no one sends this clip to someone and they think we're just picking on the wrong person though. I'm not even picking on Trizzy, bro. No, like, we're not picking like, on them, but someone will say, Well, they mention your name and get it out of context. And I want to make sure like no. if someone's gonna get out of context, it's the right person that's out of context. That's all. But go ahead. No, yeah, yeah. I think I think Trizzy was the one who was doing the finger drumming that that okay. that Meek Mill was like, "Yo, c- come and cook up and let's make some tracks." But but this isn't to disparage Trizzy at all. Facts. This is Facts. Super this Facts. this is about Meek Mill's comment of 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 putting all the fire emojis on the YouTube. And the thing is, um, particular like in Miami where I have experience, um, you know, every time you know, a lot of people will go into them studios, and the OG in the studio will be like, "Yo, y'all need to stop rapping on YouTube beats," like. You guys, you guys that work in studios, like, like, uh, the, the, you know, that are in cities that have music industries, like people, that's a thing. People will say that. People will say like, yo, you need to stop fucking with YouTube beats. You need to stop fucking with YouTube beats. People, people come to me, people come to me and they're like, and, and they're like, yo, can you remake this beat, bro? Facts. Because I don't want my artists fucking with YouTube beats. These are facts. You, you know what I mean? Like, like there is a, uh, 
there is a stigma and it's and it's funny it's it's funny that it took that it took meek mill this long to uh it took it took it took meek mill this long just to just to get on youtube and he's and, our and age too it. so we know some there's some cap in that in that force over there bro unless he's really hands off he could dude he could be really hands off at that I, I mean bro like when you get to when you get to maybach like the way ross does his shit is I forgot bro's name. It doesn't even matter what bro's name is, but Ross has but, but Ross has somebody who he trusts, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Maybach music. Whoever did and, that for him. And, and Ross has somebody that he trusts and when he goes to cook up, he has he has this man in the studio and he's like and he just and he just plays and beats. And like like Ross got to the point where he doesn't he doesn't want to know who made the beat. Like you like you can get like you can get the beat from wherever you want, but just but just play me the beat because I don't want any bias. I just wanna I just wanna pick what I'm whatever, inspired by. Yeah. Whatever moves me, right? So if you so if you have uh if, if you have an OG who's who's still more successful than you, you know, and and more you know, it's not it's not spiff. And um and you know, if if you have an OG who's more successful than you, then um you're going to uh you're gonna take some of those some of those cues, so I could I, so I could definitely see a world where you, you know where, where maybe Meek has somebody like that, you know. Yeah, I mean, I hit up Cruz on Twitter. He responded, but he never responded after that because I would ask him the same thing too. Because um, I know Cruz, I believe Cruz is a fan of the show as well. Um, but I, I have questions down that road too. Um, and where, where this is all going, going, all this shit is leading to Rome. Um, so I'm going to stop pretending to be shocked or surprised or concerned. I just wish with all of this scrambling and all this effort and all this collaboration and all of this, you know, come to Jesus with all the cool tools and hacks on the internet moments that people are having, you know, and, you know, the phase two of Napster, it feels like for these guys that they actually start putting out music that I care about. Um, it doesn't feel like a f- fair exchange, right? Like, people, like, argue with me about the Russ situation. Like, oh, Russ didn't have a reason to steal your beat. But the nigga stole it. Like, I used the hashtag Russ type beat and everything. And he just happened to have the same exact sample, the same exact drum, same exact tempo, right? And I wouldn't even be mad if it was a good song. The shit was trash, bro. And his beat making video about it was even worse. So to me, it was like, it's, it was, I felt like Drake, man. That's just disrespect. Um, When I seen it with your boy, uh... Cool and Dre, you know, I did the fucking Jay-Z and Beyonce remix with the sample, and then they're on the fucking Carter's album with the same fucking sample and the same tempo. It's like, oh, that didn't happen, whatever, but the hashtags tell me it did, you know what I'm saying? But no one cares about that song, so you even do it well, you know what I'm saying? Like, over and over and over and over and over again, like, yo, bro, like, we we gotta stop pretending like these niggas is dope, finally. And that's what nice. you're saying about the young kids, like yeah, the yeah, tight no, beats and everything. Like these yeah. these niggas are falling off. They don't even know how to steal good no more. They're not even selling the good shit no more. It, it's just you get to see what the game has been for 20 years. It's been niggas taking demo CDs and having record friends who could run to the studio with the artist and remake the beat first. That's what that shit has been and seemingly has always been. That's why niggas all of a sudden seem so lost and flustered about so much random shit. Like bro, you've been doing it. As long as me plus longer, and you're just figuring this shit out. What the fuck were you doing for 20 years? With all that money and all that studio equipment, all those engineers, all those friends, all those co-producers, y'all niggas are just getting on this wavelength? Y'all niggas was thieves, bro. And I think that's probably the part that I miss. Like, I put the meritocracy in my head that niggas was going as hard as I was. To find out that I was going harder than a lot of niggas out here, and they're the ones with all the records making all these mids right now, I'm always going to feel a way about that because I, I live through that. I don't get that time back. Yeah, that's crazy. That's super, that's super basura, bro. That's just not all right. What the? Ah, there's my gate. Yo, but... The thing is, the the thing that gets me and the reason and the reason why I even bother, you know, like like if like if there's any 
like if there's any if there's any young people watching like the reason why i stress um you know like like taking ownership of like taking ownership of your shit taking credit um you know you, you know showing some type of bravado stepping st- stepping out of that inner softness that seems to be so popular with you fucking guys and and thinking and thinking that's the way to approach shit is this is this sunshine pumping you know every, you know as everybody's got to be nice to each other type shit is that yo you like do you, do you not hear me you guys are fucking better than them bro Go take it. Yeah. Go take it, bro. Stop asking. Stop asking to do the hi hats on the style. Stop, stop, like, like, bro, like, y- like y'all dreams are so fucking pie and corny, bro. Your dreams is to just like, oh man, if I could just get looped to Nick Mira and he put the spin zeta weight underneath it, and then somebody sang about how they needed to smoke a blunt to cope with how hard it was that their girlfriend cheated on them. Like, I, I would be happy with that. Like, no, don't be happy with that, bro. Be happy with taking that motherfucker off, bro. That's like, 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 that's like, that's the energy. That's it. That's hip hop. That's what you do. <laughs> that's what you do. Every, every generation, right? Every generation that the, in, in, in this music that, that came before, they didn't fucking, they didn't dick ride, uh, uh you know, the, the, the previous industry, you know what I mean? Like they try to do it they try to do it but they do it they they do it in a cornball way right they do it in in like modern producers are better than 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 producers past like nah that's not how you do it bro you don't you don't you don't assault the the previous generations artists you you you, you assault who's there now yeah you yeah. go you, you you go get who's in there now cuz they're in your seat dj premier ain't in your seat boss you nice. know what i'm saying p p p rock ain't in your seat bro yeah, that's why I don't even acknowledge internet money in them. All the shit they do is mints. Like, like I don't, I don't even know why we're talking about them. That's, because because that's who they're competing with. That's what these goals are based off of. Fucking bullshit vlogs off of Airbnb houses. Like that's what the shit is. That's what people be talking about, bro. They they watch the white oh, kids they, on producer grind, bro. That's what the fuck it is. Oh, that's man. Come on, nah, bro. Come on, no, man. That's, the, the, that's yes, that is it. So, okay, who, who who's repeating anything Southside said? Oh, God who got that spirit? Who got Southside spirit? Name one. South, Southside. <laughs> and ATL Jacob, that's it. Yeah, ATL Jacob and Southside. That's the only brothers like that that have that kind of t- energy. So, Yo, like, they, bro, they, you know, you know how sad I was when, when, when them little, when them little fucks back down ATL Jacob, bro. Like ATL Jacob deleted the tweet, bro. I know. I had, I, I had, I had hope. I had hope. I was like, oh, okay, we got one. Yeah, we got one. Yeah. 19, 20 years old. He he gets the vibes. You know. Oh shit. Oh shit. We got a we we, we got a first time long time, Mr. Co. Hey. Talk about okay, okay. You guys are convincing me to do this. That's that's what I'm talking about, Mr. Co. This this is who I'm talking about. All these all these other fucking boomers in the chat that agree with everything I say. I'm not talking to them. I'm trying I'm trying to get to you, brother. You know what I mean? Because 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 you got time on your side. You got you got talent on your side. You got you got skills. You gotta you gotta you gotta lean into your greatness. You gotta you gotta look at these other motherfuckers who are a few years older than you and be like, they're the old heads. It's not me, bro. You ain't in competition with me. No, you're I'm in competition with the you're in competition with them people whose house you want to live in. You don't want to live in their house, bro. You want to move next to them and play your hits louder than theirs. Nice. That's that's what that's what we're talking about. And hopefully you want some bitches in your house. Good lord. Man. I was just gonna get there, bro. You 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 want to have the house by yourself. That way they're in they're, they're next door with a whole bunch of dudes, and you just and you got three chicks in and out every night. You know what I mean? That that's the that's what you want, bro. That's what you want. Shout out to the wave. Shout out to Shinji. Shout what <laughs> coked out Marv, bro. <laughs> What's up, coked out Marv? <laughs> uh, He'll tell you how he got that name too. <laughs> now nah, I remember coked out Marv. Coked out Marv is a real one, bro. Coked out, coked out Marv was out here. Tommy Versetti has has been trolling me for like a week now. Now he's going in on Taz and it's hilarious. <laughs> I can't tell if he's younger or not, though. 
<laughs> yo, money, yo, money, Mike's, money, Mike's is another one, man. Like, like, just, just, yeah, bro, you just can't, you just can't, bro. Don't waste your, don't waste your twenties, dick riding, dick riding, no other twenty year olds, bro. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, don't do that. Go, go head up with them, and fucking destroy them. Like, if I was younger and I was competing with like AP Cash Money and stuff. Like anytime I see him post that thing about one of his producers did something, I I would snap, bro. I would retweet and just barrage this guy about how 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 mids his production is. And if it wasn't for Young Keo, his shit would have been washed away a year ago. Like that's the type of time I'd be on. I'm not in competition with him, um, and I really don't want to quote unquote see them fail even because sometimes people misinterpret that energy of competing. Like competing means that you want something bad to happen to someone else. No, competing yeah. means you don't want the people with the mids to get all the attention and glory, thus translating the opportunity, thus translating the new artists using their whack ass beats for boring ass songs. I got playing my car. Like it's a longer path than that. It's a few steps further down. Like I'm tired of hearing this nigga's weak ass shit. I'm tired of hearing struggles, Beethoven beats. I'm tired of niggas capping about things they didn't personally do. Um, and the only reason why they cap like that is so they can get more opportunities. Instead of making better music to get more opportunities. But that might not even be their fault. There might be some weird kind of pyramid scheme in L.A. that I understand that everyone has to pretend like they're a fucking Vine star to get some fucking knucklehead in Florida to rap on one of their tracks for $5,000. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shout out to the knuckleheads in Florida. No, nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. like That's all they're, <laughs> that's all they're catching with all this cap, though. Should it be easier to move to Florida, nigga? Yo, it would be easier to move to Florida. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Cheaper, too. Yeah, Kevin DeFredo says better music doesn't even equal more opportunities anymore. Yes. Can't figure out why that's a thing. That might be the ultimate struggle, too, I- bro. Was what was money was money Mike's talking about? He says I was talking about a few UK producers and how their styles aren't that hard to copy and how if more people were smart, they'd be reverse engineering all the music they put out. A couple of them DM'd me. Dun, dun, dun. Yo, money Mike's money Mike's is dope. I was he, he's a uh, he he helped me create show me the money, bro. He 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 helped me find my he helped me find my keyword. Mm-hmm. So uh don't DM money mics. That's my plug. He already been DMing me. Relax. <laughs> nah, not you, bro. I'm saying, I'm saying, uh, anybody in the chat, if, if you want to DM money mics, DM me and pay and pay that tax, boy. <laughs> hey, money mics is the plug. Any from across the water. Yeah, dude. I'm. I'm and he I'm, know I'm, I'm not from Africa. Shout out to him. Yo, shout out to money mics. Money mics is a real one, bro. Money mics is money mics is 23, bro. Wow. Yeah, we we got we got some young boys and bulls in our in our in our roster, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, they, they be knowing this shit be mids too. That's how I know it's not because we're old. They're young. No, it's young. not because. Nah, no, bro, dude. I'm convinced that the that the vast majority of the people who watch this show, or or, or who 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 it's it, who who stay in who stay who stay in who stay in your um in your um. <laughs> yeah, I don't show up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who stay? In, I don't know why it's blanking on me. Who stay in your chat? Yeah, but that don't say nothing. That's not software developers. There's the, the, there's there's only fifteen or twenty of those, bro. The rest of the rest of the people who don't communicate, those are that, that that's the young boys. Yeah, and they and and they don't know because of be, be, because of because of our messaging or the way that we look. Like they don't know they don't know if we really fuck with them, dude. You know what I mean? Because because we kind of no bro. F- I don't f- fucking be scared of my opinion for fuck out of here. Fuck because what I'm talking I, about, they, bro. They 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 are, they just told us they don't want to tell us if they did the hi hats because we might make fun but, of but them. But they can you fuck what, what I mean? I'm talking about at the end of the day because it's like there's some sub- like like King Commits Girl was saying you're subjecting yourself to this type of abuse. <laughs> like if you feel that way, why nah? Turn me off if you if you're scared to say hi. Turn me off. Yeah, but they're nah. They're, they're I'm I'm telling you, they're they're definitely out here because 
because I'm, I mean, you could just you could just tell by you could just tell by the uh, the proliferation of the loot makers, bro. Yep. And and how. Yep. There's a lot. There's a lot of Melodyne cowboys out there. There's a lot of Fact. Melodyne cowboys out there. A lot there, of option bro. B hit asses out there. I seen you. <laughs> I caught you slipping a couple of times. <laughs> Nah, it's just it, it's just it's just Jayon when you're when you're uh I think when you're I think when you're younger um you know you you just you're just not as confident to to add into the discussion you know that's that, that's really all it is you don't you don't feel like you, you might not feel like you have anything to add like you're just here to learn you know cuz it be because a lot of a lot of them just pop up when MG pisses them off Yes, when they feel, when they feel personally attacked, you know, like you'll see, like you'll see the white ones will pop up when he starts, you know, when he when he's when he starts talking about um, culture vultures. Yeah, when he starts talking about culture vultures, and when he starts talking about history, when he starts talking about history, that makes a lot of people uncomfortable, <laughs> you know. Captain Mike says, "What is a melodyne cowboy?" Oh, all them boys doing those piano roll tutorials, but they're editing out the Melodyne portion. It's a cool thing. It's a cool. Nah, it's a cool it, camera it, trick. No, I, I don't even mean that. I I just mean like I just mean like these. Uh, I mean like the guys who were who who He's were doing the inter- we'll who were Melodyning the interpolations, like like how like how we've been showing. Yo, like, is, like, is Joe people... Lo-Fi Matt? I don't think Joe's Lo-Fi Matt. Okay. Lo-fi mad is a lo- lo- lo-fi mad is a is the same beast but different animal. <laughs> Joe's J- Joe's a different animal with the same beast, okay. completely different. KBZ asked who wants to battle on on Twitter. Cash Money AP replied and like he was saying, "Stop, little boy." They should have battled, bro. They, see, 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 that's that pussy shit, bro. Like, like Cash, like Cash Money AP should have just put his beats up. Yeah. We should got Pyrex Whipper and ATL Jacob on it too. Oh, that would have been that 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 would have been amazing, bro. And and, and we could have just we, we and and bro would have been amazing is is you just blindfold everybody. You play Pyrex and a, and ATL Jacob, and then you throw and and then the game that you play is you throw a random South Side beat in in, in between them like every. <laughs> this eight, boy is stupid. This thing is stupid, beat. bro. <laughs> Yo, you be you be listening to the battle, right? You be like fifteen minutes into listening, like, yo, is the beat gonna change? <laughs> yo, is round one over? <laughs> yo, <laughs> wait a you minute. Know, I've heard this know, eight oh eight and clap before. Is yo, that you know, the, is that the bridge? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was disappointed with, high key. I, I was disappointed with producer culture allowing these DJ sessions to be labeled as beat battles. Facts. You could tell, you could tell, like the like the beat battle scene is like hella weak, bro. Because yeah. because if because if rappers said that they were gonna battle, yeah, and then brought out lyrics. Okay. If rappers said that they were going to battle, like it, like if Jay Z and Nas were like, "Yo, we're gonna get on IG Live and battle tonight," and then and then not and then and then uh, 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 Nas played "If I Ruled the World," and then Jay Z played "Izzo," and then Nas played "Street Dreams," and then Jay Z played uh, "Politics as Usual," and then Nas played um, "Fucking Favor for a Favor," and then and then Jay Z played "This Can't Be Life." You know what I mean? If if they did that, you guys would be like, "Yo." This is not a battle. You guys are just playing your catalog. And I like that you're playing your catalog, but this is not a battle. Right. <laughs> like, like, like that. But they can't battle without their ghost producers being on the camera. But I mean, I mean, you know, we got to really battle. Just like play the beats back and forth like they do, like they do in the hole in the wall club in every city in America. Bro, you talking about where- when Illmind used to lose a knife wonder all the time? I'm I'm talking about like you know like like oh. you go okay like oh you like, weren't outside like go, watching those on YouTube okay. I, I go and I play my beat and then I get I'm just it. like that's where we get knowledge from right I think that's where we get Odyssey from too they don't have the material prep but they're millionaires who did this for a living <laughs> you believe that Miklo I can go right now and I have no reason to go right now. <laughs> (laughs) 
who's talk who's talking shit? <laughs> Miklo, I think Miklo is making the joke that they don't have the material prepped. Yeah, but I'm it, that's that's bullshit, bro. They do. Everybody's got beats. Yeah. Unless Swiss Beats is playing the Q button with his chin, it ain't a battle. <laughs> Poor Swiss Beats. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bro. Like, like I was, like I was, I, I, I was really disappointed that nobody, that nobody in the, uh, nobody in the, um, in the producer community because uh, because I, I feel like everybody everybody's beat battled at least once, even even if you ain't did it on a stage. Yeah. Like you've done it in a studio. Like you've like you've hit the ox chord back to back to back. Like, like I've, I've done it on stage like three times. I think. Yeah. I, dude, I, I've I've never done it in a stage. I've I've always done it in the studio, and it's it's so fucking fun, and so terrifying at the same time. I always lose to the homeless guy. Well, that motherfuckers be magic for real, bro. You already know. You know the vibe. Mm. That motherfuckers would be manifesting fucking meals, dude. You can't <laughs> you can't you can't beat These that. Are facts. These are facts. <laughs> they be winning with Crazy. like sample intros. And that's how I started. I had to realize I had to learn my crowd and the, my age demographic of North Carolinians who go to beat battles. Uh, I have a better chance with the white people. It's sad. I, I, I forgot, like when I go to their cookouts and stuff and their outdoor events, they don't be playing the slaps. No. They be playing cha-cha slide and shit. Oh, you know that song like I'd be playing hell no to the no no no. Oh, they like they, they, they have those that. kind of songs when they eat fried okra and shit. So then it dawned on me like, oh uh, yeah, you yeah you yeah you're kind of. I need to go you. up north again. Yeah, you and Scary Carrie, bro. That's a different vibe. Yeah, Damn you it. might you, you might have to take it to Rough Rally, bro. Um, Rally's the point of no return, man. <laughs> But yeah, bro, like like down in a like like a Florida, if you wanna if you wanna win a beat battle, what you gotta do is like you gotta run you gotta just run a change up every four bars. You get yeah I, th- I, th- I, th- I think they give you like I think they give you like 30 or 60 seconds. You run that change up every four bars. And if and, and and if you're dope, you put a you put like some type of relevant vocal sample that can, you know, that can that's that how can we got Meek Mill. That's how we got yeah. welcome to the party, bro. Yeah, if you can if, if you could disparage your your opponent in that manner, you 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 be you be pretty dope. Like if like if I like if I was to do it now, I would do it. I I wouldn't do it on USB. I would do it on my Akai. Like I would. You I would you'd make Curtis King type beats if you were in beat battles. Take it back. Take it back now. And with that, I'd like to tell you to keep it simple. Don't be basic. 